Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Shinigami, a tough start against Ryujin Jaka. Chapter 51 Beilong didn't spoil the two little ones, he said seriously. Silver and Byakuya looked at each other and smiled bitterly, then nodded and said, I understand, teacher. Beilong didn't continue to say anything. In fact, he was very satisfied with the two little ones. Just now, Bankai was able to develop part of the Soul Xanting Sword's abilities. This is already very good, but this is far from the potential of the two little ones. Even Hitsugaya Tashiro can make great use of his soul-cutting sword. Beilong doesn't believe that his apprentice doesn't have this talent. Moreover, Jin and Bukuya's Bankai was indeed developed a little weaker. Let's not talk about Bukuya. At least he developed some new moves in the bloody battle. Jin sent it before he survived. After Bankai, in addition to Budo and Budo Blade there is no other move, this is not what it should be. To be honest, lurking around Aizen was really a waste of Jin's talent. At that time, Jin had only one idea, and that was to kill Aizen with Kamashini no Yari's poison. He had no intention of further developing his own Bankai. This time Beilong also gave the two little ones to Aikibe Hayasub and Namaya Wangyu for a good training, so that the two little ones will become stronger. Beilong himself returned to Seoul Society. After all, he is still the captain of the seventh team, and he has to go back to attend the team leader meeting. In the evening, the captain of the seventh division stayed at home. Beilong holds Yoruichi in his left hand and Yunohana in his right hand, and is having a heart-to-heart -heart talk with his two wives. My two wives, we are already married. Does that mean that the things that belong to your husband belong to you? Beilong's hands kept working and he kept talking. Of course, Yoruichi's face turned red when Beilong's big hands rubbed him, and he gave Beilong a charming look. Lang, just tell me if you have anything to do. Mao Zhihua said in the same way. Beilong chuckled, let go of the two women, and mysteriously took out the things he had prepared for the two ladies. In front of Yoruichi is a soul-cutting sword and a devil fruit, while in front of Yunohana is a secret book. Yoruichi's Bankai is far weaker than her instant coax state, so she has never used Bankai. This is really a sad thing for Yoruichi. But fortunately, Beilong has a system, and the special Thunder-type Soul Zapping Sword that he developed can perfectly cover Yoruichi's Soul Zapping Sword. And Thunder Fruit fits Yoruichi's fighting style even more. Yoruichi's Shunku is also of Thunder type. But Maojihua is even simpler. Sister Wa does not need any external objects to improve herself. As long as she learns more moves, she can become more powerful. After all, although the Shinigami world is a relatively advanced world in a sense, it is really weak in terms of swordsmanship. No matter what style of move, there is no increase in combat effectiveness. Unlike other worlds, sword moves and sword moves there are essential differences between them. So letting Ujua learn the swordsmanship of these other worlds is tantamount to opening the door to the new world for her. As this for us, Yoruichi looked at the thing in front of him in surprise. Although Beilong has brought out some strange things over the years, Beilong explained what was in front of the two women, which still shocked the two women. Lang, since you have these things, use them yourself to become stronger. Both Yoruichi and Yunohana had this idea. But Beilong smiled and said, Don't worry, I don't need these things at my current level of strength. This is specially prepared for you too. Seeing Beilong's persistence, Yoruichi and Yunohana didn't say anything more. They picked up the things Beilong gave them and started to make themselves stronger according to Beilong's instructions. Ah, it tastes so bad. After Yoruichi ate the thunder fruit, his first reaction was to vomit. But in order to become stronger and help Beilong, she still endured retching and ate the thunder fruit. Sure enough, after Yoruichi ate the thunder fruit, subtle arcs began to appear on her body. Maojihua, on the other hand, seemed to have opened the door to the new world. She read the elementary edition of the All Heavens Kendo Encyclopedia with great interest, and from time to time she stretched out her hand to make gestures. The two women completely ignored Beilong's existence. Beilong was speechless for a while, and just about to lick his face and tell the two ladies to practice tomorrow, the two ladies jointly kicked him out and pushed him directly into Soi Fan's room. Lang, we probably won't have time to mess around with you tonight. You can go to Xiao Shou Ling's room. She will be yours sooner or later anyway. Yoruichi's ear was still around Beilong's ears, making Beilong speechless for a while. Humph, 
he seemed to be a pervert. Beilong pushed open the door of Soi Fan's room unconvinced and said, Xiao Xiao Ling. Are you asleep? Get up and play. Then Soi Fan hit Beilong on the head with two pillows. Although Soi Fan didn't say anything, her behavior already acquiesced that Beilong came in. The pillows were all ready. But Beilong didn't do anything, he just hugged Soi Fan and slept quietly all night. Soi Fan's heartbeat slowly calmed down, and she fell asleep comfortably in Beilong's arms. Tonight was the most peaceful sleep the little bee had ever had. From this day on, Soi Fan has also been upgraded to Mrs. Sui Feng. Although the two of them have not done much, there is still a commitment that should be made. After all, as Yoruichi's personal bodyguard, Soi Fan has seen everything that should be seen and what should not be seen. It's not like she doesn't have that interest in Beilong. Since Yoruichi has agreed, Soi Fan just goes with the flow and successfully takes the position. Of course, the strengthening of Soi Fan must also be put on the agenda. For Beilong, his own defense has no weakness, but his wife and disciples are his weakness. Since he cares about them, let them become stronger, no matter what if it is a weakness but a strength, it is inevitable. After all, this world is not a stable world, and getting stronger is always right. The captain's inauguration ceremony didn't have much to say. The old man nagged a few more words as usual and asked the captains to go back to handle team affairs. After all, the departure of Hiroko Shinji and the others is a big turmoil for Gote 13. It will still take some time for the new captain to fully control the team. Even Aizen and his fifth team members also need time to complete their mental development, transformation. However, his vice captain Ichimaru Jin is indeed gone, and Aizen needs to find a new tool man. When Hinamori Momo, Shinigami's first tank tank, comes online, Aizen will give up all tools and choose her. After all, Hinamori Momo is no ordinary Shinigami. It's really unprecedented for her to be in love to that extent. It can be said that this person is the only one in the Shinigami world who can decisively draw a sword and kill his own brother for the sake of a man. Moreover, they defected in Aizen and still have unrealistic illusions. It's true that people don't know what to say. I'm talking about you, the one who doesn't want to reveal his name, Hinamori Momo, the best tank in the three realms. Five-star General MacArthur, a well-known critic of a certain music channel, once said, if Captain Yamamoto Genryusai had asked Inoue Orihime to restore his right hand, he would only have to hold Soul Society's Zanpakudo Ryujin Jaka, which has the highest attack power, in one hand. With Hinamori Momo, the best human shield in the three realms, in one hand, one person can kill you watch. However, Xiaobai's feelings for Hinamori Momo are indeed very deep, but his anger towards Aizen should be more due to his sister's angry brother after meeting the scumbag. After all, the whole soul society knows that Hinamori Momo likes Aizen. And does Aizen really not care about Hinamori Momo? Not necessarily, he can kill two weaklings instantly with just one look. He showed no mercy to Ichimaru Jin and Tusen Konami. They were both fatal wounds with one stab. Why did they leave Hinamori Momo alone? With three blades, you can also say that she is Vasto Lord level Mano's Grande. She is powerful and has high defense and recovery. Is there anything special about Hinamori Momo? Do special dishes count? Obviously, Aizen still showed mercy to this little girl. I have to say that dog licking is really awesome. Even a being like Aizen will show mercy to his female dog licking. It's obviously not like this when he cuts others. Ahem, I digressed. After the meeting, Beilong did not go back to the seventh team. Instead, he went directly to the Science and Technology Development Bureau. Although the captain and deputy captain of Division 12 have now fled to the present world, the Bureau of Science and Technology Development has not been disturbed in any way, and these scientific research dogs are still working day and night. For Kuritsuchi Mayuri, Urahara Kazuki's departure is actually a good thing. No one from above will suppress him, and he can study more things. Anyway, Urahara Kazuki himself is not an honest person. Can an honest person research Hogyoku? That's definitely not possible. Oh, what kind of wind has brought you here? Vice Captain Beilong, oh, now I want to call you Captain Beilong. When Kuritsuchi Mayuri saw Beilong coming, not only was she not angry that the experiment was interrupted, but she also had a smile on her face. Yes, Kuritsuchi Mayuri has been Beilong's person from beginning to end. 
To be precise, he is the real eye placed by Bailong next to Urahara Kazuki, responsible for monitoring everything about Urahara Kazuki. As for why Kuritsuchi Mayuri is so respectful to Bailong, it's because of money and novel technology. Bailong's system can explode anything, even unscientific things like elf balls and universal capsules. For Kuritsuchi Mayuri, Bailong is not only a financial sponsor, but also a scientific leader. Every time Bailong takes out weird things, it can bring him more inspiration. Oh, and the more important reason is that he can't beat Bailong at all, and he can't even touch Bailong. Kuritsuchi Mayuri's creed in life is that there is no such thing as perfection, only things that are constantly improving. This is the creed of a top scientific research madman. You don't have to be so polite. Old man Sean and I recommend you to become the captain of the 12th division and also the director of the Science and Technology Development Bureau. Don't let me off the hook. Baylong also spoke very casually. It was obvious that the two of them were old acquaintances. Ha 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 ha, don't worry, Captain Baylong, this will be your best choice. I will let the entire Science and Technology Development Bureau be your help. Kuritsuchi Mayuri was overjoyed after hearing Bailong's words, although he also thought that Chapter 12 the position of team captain is definitely his, but Bailong, the captain's agent, can't be trusted. Bailong then threw him a bunch of recently revealed things for him to continue researching. Although Kuritsuchi Mayuri has been very busy with the research on Pokeballs and Universal Capsules recently, she is still very happy. Just leave these things to me. I will definitely figure out how these things are made as soon as possible. Kuritsuchi Mayuri's eyes began to shine, regardless of Bailong's existence, and immediately began to look left and right. For a scientist, say, unknown things are so interesting. Bailong no longer disturbed Kuritsuchi Mayuri. After greeting him, he finally returned to his seventh division. Captain's room. Matsumoto Rangaku's resentment was about to overflow, master. You take your senior and junior brothers out for training and leave everything to me. Matsumoto Rangaku pouted and said angrily. Ah ha ha ha, isn't this because my teacher values Rangaku's ability? Look, how much I trust you, I didn't even leave these things to others. Bailong laughed and started to fool his disciple. Is this really true, master? It was obvious that Rangaku had been deceived too many times and did not really believe Bailong's words. Of course, my apprentice, can I still believe it? Rangaku is the best. The little girl laughed after being fooled by Bailong, and quickly forgot about Bailong fooling her into doing work. Bailong's early layout has basically taken shape. Now, covertly and covertly, except for Aizen's 5th division, Tusan Konami's 7th division, and now Kenpachi Kian Castle's 11th division, the rest of the divisions are now Bailong the people are in control. As for the 11th division, when Zaraki Kenpachi arrives, they will naturally kill Kigashima. As far as Kenpachi is concerned, Gosuke Kenpachi and Kiganho Kenpachi are both extremely weak. Bailong also silently controls the entire Gote 13 through various relationships, strength, and abilities. Soul Society has also entered a stable period, and Bailong is not idle. He sends members of the seventh team to find a young man with a child. Of course it is Zaraki Kenpachi, Bailong will not let this kind of killer weapon fall into the hands of others. Although Aizen is confused by what Bailong is doing, it is obvious that Aizen does not feel that the current Bailong poses any threat to him. After all, over the years, Bailong has only taken action very rarely, and Aizen has only heard of Bailong being invulnerable. Just rumors. On this day, Rukongai. Young Zaraki, do you want to have a happy fight with a stronger warrior? Bailong finally found Zaraki Kenpachi and Kusaji Shiyakiru in Rukongai. The current Zaraki Kenpachi is still wandering around Rukongai, looking for strong men who can fight him. He will not go to Seraiti until he defeats all the invincible opponents in Rukongai. Hey, Shaojian, do you know him? The cute Kusaji Shiyakiru lay on Zaraki Kenpachi's shoulder and looked at Bailong with a smile in front of him and asked strangely. Zaraki Kenpachi's beast-like perception felt a severe threat from Bailong, and he said excitedly, I don't know him, but this is an exciting opponent. Saying that, Zaraki Kenpachi pulled out his sealed state regardless, and slashed at Bailong with his sword. A violent Reiatsu burst out of him. Of course, the so-called violent Reiatsu is just what ordinary summoning souls think. To put it bluntly, 
before the Thousand Year Blood War chapter, Zaraki Kenpachi didn't even know what the concept of first class Reiatsu was. After Yakiru returned to himself, Zaraki Kenpachi is a complete first class spiritual power with powerful combat power. Of course, since the comics of 98 are so long, it is normal for their combat power to collapse. For example, in the Thousand Year Blood War chapter, Dubai and Xiaobai both inexplicably entered the first class spiritual power, making the first class spiritual power look like Chinese cabbage, everywhere. In a sense, Zaraki Kenpachi is the Lilanite of Soul Society. Lilanite separated from Stark because of loneliness, but Zaraki Kenpachi separated from Yakiru because of the Reiatsu that suppressed her. So now Zaraki Kenpachi, who is only a third class spiritual power, is no different from a child in Beilong's eyes. Just stretching out a finger, Beilong easily blocked Zaraki Kenpachi's blade. What? Zaraki Kenpachi looked shocked. No matter who he met in Rukongai, he always killed him with one blow. Now he met a guy who blocked his attack with only one finger. Now Zaraki Kenpachi has forgotten that he once defeated Yunohana, so when he saw Beilong, he really felt like he was facing a formidable enemy. Yakiru, you stand back, I'm going to fight. He said so, but Zaraki Kenpachi actually felt unsure and wanted Yakiru to stay away and not be affected. Beilong said speechlessly, Okay, I'm not here to fight you. With your current strength, even if I stand here and let you chop me down for the rest of my life, you won't be able to break through my defense. This is indeed true, not even Yamamoto Genryusai can break through Beilong's defense. Let's talk after the fight. Although Zaraki Kenpachi was surprised, he was still full of fighting spirit. Beilong sighed helplessly, and came to Zaraki Kenpachi in an instant. Under Zaraki Kenpachi's surprised eyes, he stretched out his hand and pushed him to the ground, causing the whole ground to feel like an earthquake. With Zaraki Kenpachi as the center, the spider web cracked open. Boy, have you had enough trouble? I said, listen. Zaraki Kenpachi, who was pinned to the ground by Beilong, swallowed his saliva. He liked to challenge the strong and had no complaints about being killed by the strong. But the problem was that what he liked was the thrill of catching an opponent and fighting, not being killed unilaterally. Abuse. This is not his kind of fight. This is also the reason why Zaraki Kenpachi never provokes Yamamoto Genryusai. He is a beast, but not a fool. Zaraki Kenpachi will not act rashly if it means risking his own death. Small sword. Yachin Liu saw that Zaraki Kenpachi was easily suppressed, and a shunpo came to Zaraki Kenpachi. Beilong showed a kind smile to Kusajishi Yakiru and said, Don't worry, I won't hurt him. Kusajishi Yakiru nodded, she knew very well that she would not let her interfere in Zaraki Kenpachi's battle. Moreover, Kusajishi Yakiru did not feel threatened by Beilong. She just acted subconsciously in desperation. This was the first time in so many years that she saw Zaraki Kenpachi suppressed instantly. Seeing that Zaraki Kenpachi was no longer struggling, Beilong nodded and said, You are indeed very talented, but you lack a qualified teacher. Why not worship me as your teacher? There are many strong people for you to challenge. Zaraki Kenpachi was stunned for a moment after hearing Beilong's words, with big doubts on his small face. Zaraki's age is calculated as several hundred years old according to the latest animation, which means he is currently only a teenager, older than Byakuya and Jin. Can I really fight against more strong men by becoming my disciple? Zaraki Kenpachi doesn't care about getting stronger or not. What he wants is to fight against other strong men. Of course, you have two senior brothers and one senior sister. Each of them is much stronger than you are now. Beilong didn't lie and told him the situation directly. Okay, I will become your disciple. Zaraki Kenpachi was even more straightforward. He struggled to get up and became his disciple directly on the spot. Beilong was a little helpless. Why did he feel that his disciples were all following this path of apprenticeship, and they knelt down when they came up? Wasn't it supposed to be a tug of war? But since everyone is so straightforward, Beilong didn't hold it up, helped Zaraki Kenpachi up and said, Okay, great, then you and Yakiru, come back to Seraiti with me. I will train you to be the most powerful it's Kenpachi. Oh, you can't call him Kenpachi now because there is a Kenpachi in the 11th division now, and you have to chop him to death first. Zaraki nodded, I know, I will work hard to become stronger. 
Yakiru also directly lay on Zaraki Kenpachi's shoulder and said excitedly, Great, come on. Let's go back to Seraiti with Master. Zaraki Kenpachi heard that he could fight with strong men, and his blood boiled. He burst out laughing, completely forgetting that he had just been crushed by someone. Team 7, Yoruichi, Yunohana and Soifan were all stunned when they saw Zaraki Kenpachi and Kusajishi Yakiru brought back by Bailong. Yunohana looked at Zaraki Kenpachi, it really seemed like he was about to draw his sword and kill someone. Old rival, although hundreds of years have passed, how could Yunohana forget this opponent? Although the wound on her chest has now been healed by Bailong with the power of the Ten Sacred Blades, Yunohana still feels a dull pain in her chest when she sees Zaraki Kenpachi. Yoruichi was more direct, is this your new apprentice again? Bailong nodded, patted Kenpachi behind him and said, Come on, I've met your three master wives. Yoruichi and Yunohana didn't react at all, but Soifan's face instantly turned red. Zaraki Kenpachi also didn't recognize Yunohana Retsu, and he saluted carelessly, I've seen three master wives. Well, people are under the roof and have to bow their heads. This is the most polite episode of Zaraki Kenpachi. Bailong nodded with satisfaction. This kid has been wandering around Rukongai for too long, and his good talents have been wasted. But with him, Zaraki Kenpachi should grow up quickly. Of course, you still have to be polite. Sao Aya, please go and bring Rengaku back. Let's take a break from Zaraki first. Soi Fan nodded and disappeared directly. Zaraki Kenpachi's eyes are about to gleam when he looks at it. Good guy, he is a cheap master, and he is surrounded by strong people. Soon, Matsumoto Rengaku also came back. Seeing Zaraki Kenpachi and Kusajishi Yakiru, Matsumoto Rengaku felt like a mirror, Master, this is the new junior brother, my name is Matsumoto Rengaku, and I am your second senior sister. Zaraki Kenpachi also felt the dangerous aura in this senior sister and responded quickly. Bailong clapped his hands and said, let's go to the fantasy world. As he said that, he opened the fantasy book he took out at some point and took the lead in walking in. Zaraki Kenpachi was even more confused. For a person who has been in Rukongai since childhood, this thing is a bit too high tech. But Kusajishi Yakiru's words brought him back to his senses, come on, Shaojian, Master Master and the others are still waiting for us. Zaraki Kenpachi nodded and also disappeared into the door made of fantasy books. Okay, Zaraki. Since you have become a disciple, your training will be on the agenda from now on. I don't have time to talk to you about these red tapes. Let's start your favorite fight now. Bailong also doesn't talk nonsense. Directly took the lead in releasing his sea like Rayatsu. Cold sweat broke out on Zaraki Kenpachi's face instantly. Good guy, he usually relies on Rayatsu to bully others, and now Bailong bullies him like this. Yoruichi, you know Hana. Matsumoto Rengaku and Soi Fan also collaborated to release Reiatsu. Even the worst Soi Fan, Reiatsu is now higher than Zaraki Kenpachi. Of course, it will be different when Zaraki Kenpachi regains his strength. Zaraki Kenpachi was speechless, good guy, he seemed to be here to die. As for Yakiru, well, he was held in the arms of another Yakiru. It was obvious that Yunohana liked this little girl very much. She hugged Yakiru as if she were her own daughter. Zaraki Kenpachi is left alone to enjoy this massive Reiatsu. However, Zaraki Kenpachi is not a mortal. After being oppressed by everyone's Reiatsu, he actually began to continuously improve his own Reiatsu. It's a pity that the improvement is not large enough. It seems that he has not experienced a life and death crisis, and the energy hidden in his subconscious is still not so easy to tap. Bailong also waved his hands for everyone to disperse Reiatsu, and said, Zaraki, you are different from others. You are born with strong potential. Normal training methods are of no use to you, so you need to go through constant battles to be able to do it. Become stronger. Zaraki Kenpachi nodded, Bailong smiled and said, then, the training will begin. In the days that followed, Zaraki Kenpachi went through a difficult time. He was beaten to death by these junior wives and senior sisters every day and then was rescued by Yunohana using Kaido. Bailong euphemistically calls it liberating potential, and Zaraki Kenpachi's beating was so frustrating. He can't even soy fawn now. Bailong got a wind fruit for soy fawn some time ago, and also got her a new wind type soul cutting sword. 
The effect of this sword is, well, very special, so it is integrated with Soifan's original soul cutting sword. Now, Soifan can choose what kind of power she uses. He can't beat Yoruichi and Soifan in their elemental form, he can't beat Rengaku and Yunohana, and Zaraki Kenpachi doesn't even know what the meaning of this battle is. What's the deal with getting happiness? Bang, soon, the happiness is gone. But his own Reiatsu and strength are indeed constantly improving, and have been improved to the point where he is close to the second class spiritual power. Thirty years later, seventy years before the plot begins, in the Soul King's palace, the palace of Namaya Wang Yu. You two are going back today. Namaya Wang Yu asked, looking at Jin and Bukuya, who were already about 1.8 meters tall. The two of them also saluted politely and said, Yes, I have troubled several seniors over the past few decades. Ha 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 ha, you don't have to be so polite, you are Beilong's apprentices, no different from our apprentices. Or Mei Wu Wang Yu said with a smile. However, it is a pity for Namaya Wang Yu that these two little guys have no feelings for his impart. If they also like this kind of activity, then they will have a happier life. As for the other people, you don't need to say goodbye one by one. They all know it. If you have time, don't forget to come and see us old guys. Ermeya Wang Yu continued. Well, we know. Then, senior, let's go back. Okay, okay, let's go, uncle, I'm going to drive the impart. Both Jin and Bukuya smiled bitterly. Namaya O, oh, the sword god, was good at everything, but they really couldn't accept this aesthetic. The two of them temporarily brushed away their sadness and became excited. They have not been home for many years, and they will always feel a little homesick. I don't know how Master and the others have been doing lately. Both of them missed their master a little bit. Sending them to the Spirit King's palace for training must not be as easy as they thought. At this time, Beilong was teasing Yoruichi's best friend Shiba Kukuku at Shiba's house, Come on, Kukuku, come and have a drink with me. We haven't seen each other for a while. Shiba Kankaku rolled his eyes and said speechlessly, Really? Didn't we just meet yesterday? Ah, is there any? Beilong looked embarrassed. Okay, if nothing happens, just go back to your division. Shiba Kankaku said obviously angrily. Kong, you know me, he doesn't blame me for this. It's not your cheap uncle who said he wants you to marry him, and he said he already asked for your consent. Are you leaving? If you don't leave, I'll hit you with a cannon. Wait, it's still outside, don't, don't hold your hands, you guy. Well, slow down. We don't know what happened, and we don't dare to say it. Anyway, Shiba Kuzuru is honest. It's obvious that the two of them have done this kind of exchange frequently. By the way, my two disciples seem to be coming back today. Beilong, with a comfortable expression on his face, suddenly thought of his good disciples. What? Then go to the yard quickly. Beilong and Shiba Kong, that was indeed an unexpected situation. Beilong and Yoruichi came to Shiba's house for a drink, and the three of them ended up sleeping together for no apparent reason that night. Of course, Beilong is responsible. He told Shiba Yishin that he wanted to marry Shiba Kong. Now Shiba Konghei's family is at its peak, and his own arm is not broken. Originally, she didn't want to get married because of this matter, but Shiba Kayan and Shiba worked hard for her, which really made Shiba Kongzuru attracted, and she really liked her best friend's man, so things fell into place. Shiba Kayan is a bit miserable. His biological sister has become his uncle's wife inexplicably. But then I thought about it, his master has become his brother-in-law's senior brother, so he has been promoted a generation. Here we come. Beilong looked at the Tianju chariot that looked like shooting stars in the sky, and felt very happy in his heart. He hadn't seen his apprentices in more than 30 years, and he still missed them. These two little fool have never thought of sending a letter home in all these years. Let's see how I deal with them later. Although he said this, Beilong's eyes were full of smiles. It was obvious that he still cared about his apprentice. Very satisfied. Boom, the Tianju chariot landed, and two men who had grown to adult height walked out of it. Well, soul society is less stressful. Ichimaru Jin's voice sounded first. Stop being so nagging, let's go back to see master and master. Bukuya also interrupted Ichimaru Jin's sigh. Beilong's smile became even brighter as he listened to the conversation between the two. Okay. You two, come here quickly. 
Beilong stopped hiding himself and said with a smile. Hey, master, why are you here in person? Neither Silver nor Bukuya expected that their master would come to pick them up in person. My dear apprentice is back. Of course I have to come in person. However, my two silly apprentices have not sent us a letter or anything in so many years. It really makes me sad. Beilong deliberately teased. Master, times two. The two people quickly stepped forward and knelt down on one knee to salute. Okay, okay, why are we so unfamiliar after not seeing each other for several years? Come on, let's go home. Your master and the others are still waiting for you at home. Beilong quickly helped the two disciples, and the Reiatsu on them became even bigger. Obviously, the two of them have not been idle in the Spirit King Palace in the past few decades. Kong, don't forget to go back for dinner tonight. Beilong didn't forget his little wife either. Okay, okay, I understand, take your two apprentices back quickly. Shiba Kong rolled his eyes. Jin and Bukuya also didn't forget to say hello to Shiba Kukaku. Ichimaru Jin is so smart. He said, Master's mother, when he came up. It really made Kukaku so happy. Bukuya immediately followed. The tacit understanding between the two is really incredible. Beilong nodded and took his two apprentices back to the 7th division. In the captain's room, Ujua and others also put down what they were doing today. There is nothing more important than the reunion of the whole family. Not to mention Zaraki Kenpachi, the three little ones Ichimaru Jin were raised by Beilong and his friends when they were two or three years old. They are no different from their own children. You know Hannah and Yoruichi are also a little excited, as their good apprentice is coming back. Matsumoto Rengaku looked at his master's wife and rolled his eyes helplessly. I, the one who has been by your side all the time, might as well be the two of you who went out to practice. Master wife, we are back. Of course, this was what Jin shouted. Although Bukuya does not have facial paralysis now, he obviously has the baggage of being an idol. Come here quickly, let me take a good look at it. Mao Zhawa no longer tensed up, and quickly asked the two children to come over with a smile. The two of them also bowed respectfully, and then sat down. Mao Zhawa instantly transformed into a loving mother and began to scold Beilong, it's your master who is so cruel to throw you in the spirit king's palace. Beilong was shot while he was lying down. It was obviously the problem of these two gangsters, but it was his fault. But Ginduo was good at talking, and soon Yunohana was coaxed into laughing. I heard that my senior brother is back. Zaraki Kenpachi, who had just finished today's training, also walked in behind Soi Fan. As soon as he entered the room, he saw two figures with Reiatsu on them like the sea. Zaraki Kenpachi politely said in an instant, I have met two senior brothers. This is respect for the strong. This is the teacher's new junior brother. Yes, he is very strong. Bukuya looked at Zaraki Kenpachi and nodded. Zaraki Kenpachi is still very polite to his own family, which is in sharp contrast to those outside. Everyone also became happy and gathered together to have a good reunion dinner in the evening. The next day, Beilong took his three beloved disciples to see his master. Oh, my dear master, I miss you so much, Beilong said to Yamamoto Genryusai in a very grandiose manner. Yamamoto Genryusai glared at Beilong angrily, thinking that he was quite a big man. He was already a master, so how could he be so boastful? Okay, my disciples and grandsons are still here. Look, what do you think? Yamamoto Genryusai was just like an elder who was about to hold back in front of his grandsons and granddaughters. He looked like a master from this world. Hee hee, aren't you bringing your three disciples here to see how you are doing, master? If you cause less trouble, I'll be fine. Beilong was speechless, and the three of Ichimaru Jin also saluted Yamamoto Genryusai. Seeing that Zaraki Kenpachi, the last of the three, was close to the first-class spiritual power, Yamamoto Genryusai also nodded with satisfaction. This disciple of his own has great teaching ability. It's really an exaggeration. It has only been about a hundred years, but several of his apprentices have become so powerful. Master, you see, these disciples of mine are already so strong, but we don't have a suitable division yet. Beilong stopped pretending and said directly. I knew you were up to no good. Yamamoto rolled his eyes at Beilong. Look, this is what I think. Bukuya, my apprentice, must have gone back to inherit the Kuchiki family's sixth division. Zaraki, 
my apprentice, has also made arrangements. In two days, I will go and ask him to take over the Kuchiki family. Shabi will be hacked to death. But my eldest disciple Ichimaru Jin doesn't have a suitable place to go yet. You've already thought about it, why are you asking me? Yamamoto Genryusai was also speechless. Why don't you give me an idea? Well, since your kid Ichimaru Jin currently doesn't have a suitable squad to join, why not let him teach at the Spiritual Arts Academy? Ah, uh, shall I teach students? Ichimaru Jin was surprised at first, and then after thinking about it, it seemed that it was not impossible. He was a pretty good Shinigami anyway, and he could teach his disciples too. Moreover, Ichimaru Jin has not forgotten that when his master taught him, he had a lot of fun. Obviously, Ichimaru Jin has already included himself in it. Master, I have no problem. Ichimaru Jin said confidently. Bailong has no intention to refute this decision. After all, the life trajectory of Ichimaru Jin is completely different now. In the original work, he was as cold as a snake, but now he is more like a little fox. Maybe he really can he is a good teacher. Well, very good, then you will report to Spiritual Arts Academy tomorrow. Which subject do you want to be a teacher? Yamamoto asked kindly. Ichimaru Jin and Byakuya Kuchiki, but he had hugged the children when he was a child. Byakuya Kuchiki had his own grandfather after all, but Ichimaru Jin was different. This was his eldest disciple of the Genryu third generation. In Yamamoto Genryu Sai's heart, he was the eldest grandson. There are equal signs, so some preference is inevitable. Well, my kendo ability is not bad, so I'll teach them kendo. Well, great, then you will be the swordsmanship teacher. After all, he is the child brought up by Yunohana Retsu. If he is not good at swordsmanship, it would be a slap in Yunohana Retsu's face. Of course, everyone present knows that this position is just a transitional position for Ichimaru Jin. After working for a few years and gaining some qualifications, he will naturally be promoted to the position of captain. Yamamoto Genryusai has always been thinking about his great disciple. The position of captain of the third division is still vacant. After the arrangements for the three beloved disciples were completed, Bailong also asked him to go back to his respective homes to prepare for the next arrangements. Byakuya Kuchiki hasn't gone back to see Kuchiki Silver Bell in decades. It was outrageous that he didn't go back last night. No matter what, I have to go back to Kuchiki's house today to see it. Zaraki Kenpachi, on the other hand, is recharging his energy and preparing to kill Keegan Castle Kenpachi in three days. Only Ichimaru Jin has begun to imagine what kind of disciple he will meet after going to work. Bailong stayed and had a detailed discussion with Yamamoto Genryusai. Well, Bailong was going to let Yamamoto Genryusai abdicate. Traitor, traitor, you really want my position so much, Yamamoto said with a glare after learning about Bailong's intention. Ahem, teacher, there's no one else here, so stop acting. Haven't you wanted to quit for a long time? Bailong was speechless, how could his master become such a drama queen? Seeing that Bailong hadn't been frightened, Yamamoto stopped pretending, but he asked with some worry, can you control the entire Soul Society situation now? Bailong smiled and said, when Zaraki becomes the captain of the 11th division, then except for the 5th division and the 9th division, all the captains of the other divisions will be mine. Although Yamamoto Genryusai was mentally prepared and it was something he acquiesced to, he was still surprised to hear that Bailong had secretly mastered the entire Gote 13 so quickly. Because on the surface, except for the 2nd team, 4th team, and 7th team, the other teams have little to do with him. Only Aizen vaguely feels something is wrong now. Maybe Bailong has mastered many divisions, but he definitely did not expect that Bailong took down everyone except him and Tusen Konami. After all, now Aizen thinks Kiraku Shunsui is his. Prepare to cause trouble in the name of Kiraku Shunsui. What about the nobles and Central 46? Ahem, the Shihuan family, the Kuchiki family, the Shiba family, all support me, room 46, I have the Soul King Silver Medal. Yamamoto Genryusai is speechless, good guy, with all the forces Bailong has now, he can directly rebel. He really makes me cry to death. Your Excellency, Captain Bailong, Captain Bailong is indeed your best successor. Chojiro Sasaki, who had been standing behind Yamamoto Genryusai, suddenly said. Yamamoto Genryusai, co-author I am alone now, right? 
Yuchojiro Sasaki with thick eyebrows and big eyes are also one of his. Okay, but we have to fight in Soul Society. You have to show your strength to be the captain of Gote 13. Yamamoto Genryusai said through gritted teeth. Of course, there will be a grand ceremony to hand over the captaincy. Beilong nodded. Even if Yamamoto Genryusai didn't say anything about this matter, Beilong would have brought it up. In any case, Beilong must show off his muscles before taking office, otherwise he, the captain, would not be able to sit still. Okay, get out of here, kid. Yamamoto sent Beilong out directly. After Beilong left, Yamamoto Genryusai laughed happily. No one knows how long Yamamoto Genryusai has been guarding Soul Society and how tired he is. Now, he, Yamamoto Genryusai, is finally retiring. Hey, Chojiro, what do you think I should do after I retire? Or, how about I also go to teach at the Spiritual Arts Academy? No matter where you want to go, Captain, Chojiro will be right behind you. You, you, you. Beilong also returned home with a smile on his face after talking to Yamamoto Genryusai, and everyone was happy. The next day, Ichimaru Jin happily went to the Spiritual Arts Academy to report. Today also happens to be the day when Spiritual Arts Academy recruits new students. Captain of the Sixth Car. I, Hisagi Shuahei, will definitely inherit your legacy and carry forward the ninth team. A somewhat thin young man with the number 69 tattooed on his face vowed. Ichimaru Jin, who was recruited by the vice dean to assess the new students, noticed this child immediately. This child was different from other children. There was no confusion in his eyes, and there was a determination in his bones. At the first sight, Ichimaru Jin fell in love with this child, he was so to his liking. After all, Ichimaru Jin in the original work is such a person. How could he not like children like him? After waiting for a while, it was finally time for the child to take the test. Ichimaru Jin, who had not spoken a word, looked at Hisagi Shuahei and said, Child, what is your name? Me. Hisagi Shuahei asked himself, looking at this young and over-the-top teacher, and asked in confusion. Yes, it's you. My name is Hisagi Shuahei. Hisagi Shuahei, I remember, you go in. Ichimaru Jin nodded. But, teacher, I haven't started the test yet. Hisagi Shuahei was confused for a while. Ha 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 ha, no need to test, I know your spiritual power level, 7th level spiritual power, go ahead. Ichimaru Jin said again. The teacher who was in charge of recording next to him acted as if he had not heard these words. He just finished writing and let Hisagi Shuahei enter the Spiritual Arts Academy. Of course, Hisagi Shuahei is not a 7th class spirit, he is a 6th class spirit. Although he looks ordinary, this guy is an out and out genius. When he and his companions were attacked, it was because his huge Reiatsu attracted Kion that he was like this. This is also the reason why Maino's Grande didn't chase others when they ran away. It's simple. Maino's Grande's target has always been him. Moreover, Hisagi Shuahei is also the only one who has broken the supremacy theory of Reiatsu. After his soul Zanto and Bankai, the battle is not about whose Reiatsu is stronger, but whose willpower is stronger. Even if Aizen comes, you have to fight with him obediently. After all, the final strength of Yuzen Kinehiko is basically equivalent to that of a small spirit king, but he was still defeated by Hisagi Shuahei's Bankai. This is the true equality of all living beings. Maybe Ichimaru Jin himself didn't expect that he just picked up such a pervert child just because he was optimistic about it. Conceptual tactics are indeed pervert no matter which world they are in. Hisagi Shuahei also felt like he was lucky, and he was arranged by the teacher into a single dormitory in a daze. He was treated even more favorably than a privileged student. Hisagi Shuahei, who was still confused, heard a knock on the door. Ichimaru Jin's magnetic voice sounded, Shuhei, are you there? Can I come in? Oh, oh, of course. Hisagi Shuahei was a little flustered at first, but quickly calmed down. Ichimaru Jin pushed open the door with a smile and carried some food in his hand. Ichimaru Jin put the things on the coffee table in the dormitory and said to Hisagi Shuahei, My name is Ichimaru Jin, and I am a kendo teacher at Spiritual Arts Academy. Hello, Mr. Ichimaru Jin. Hisagi Shuahei saluted very politely. Sit, sit, don't be so formal. 
Ichimaru Jin pressed Hisagi Shuahei's shoulder and asked him to sit on his bed. You must be very curious as to why I give you special treatment. Hisagi Shuahei nodded, he thought there was nothing special about him. Ichimaru Jin pointed to Hisagi Shuahei's heart, how should I put it? This is probably what makes you different from other children. Hisagi Shuahei was stunned for a moment, not quite understanding what Ichimaru Jin meant. Ichimaru Jin was also a little troubled, and he didn't know how to describe it. In short, it sounds a bit mysterious, but the fact is that I am very optimistic about you. Thank you Ichimaru Jin Sensei. Shubing, do you want to become my disciple? Ichimaru Jin didn't hesitate and directly stated his purpose. The current Hisagi Shuahei still doesn't know the specific status and strength division of Shinigami, but he feels a little ignorant about the strong sense of threat emanating from Ichimaru Jin. Even if he gets closer, he feels that his spiritual body is a little unstable. Ichimaru Jin's words were just like Beilong's words back then. He went straight to the point and asked people if they wanted to be apprentices. He didn't consider Hisagi Shuahei's character at all. Just like when Beilong took a fancy to him in Matsumoto Rengaku, Ichimaru Jin took a fancy to the child in front of him at a glance. Since Beilong's teacher is sure that he can train him to become a talent, so is Ichimaru Jin. He is sure that he can train Hisagi Shuahei. Become an excellent Shinigami. Ichimaru Jin Sensei, do you know Captain Muguruma Kensai? Captain Muguruma Kensai, of course I know. Ichimaru Jin was stunned for a moment, not expecting Hisagi Shuahei to ask about Kensai. What do you think of Captain Six? Ichimaru Jin thought for a moment and said, although I have never met the sixth car captain, my teacher mentioned this man a lot. The sixth car captain who fell into a trap to protect his own team members was naturally an excellent captain. Hisagi Shuahei's eyes started to shine when he looked at Ichimaru Jin. Just like what Ichimaru Jin did back then, he paid homage to his master on the spot and said, Teacher, I bow to you as a disciple. The smile on Ichimaru Jin's face became even brighter. He seemed to have returned to the past. Teacher Beilong stretched out his hand to save himself. Now, it's his turn. Okay, from today on, you are my disciple. When you don't have classes, just study with me. Yes, teacher, I understand. Come with me tonight. You don't have to eat at school. I'll take you to meet my master and your uncles. Teacher, who is your master? My teacher, Beilong, the direct disciple of Captain Yamamoto and the current captain of the 7th Division. Master is the captain. Grand master is the overall captain. Why are you so surprised? I have three master wives, one is the captain of the 4th Division, and two of them are the current and former captains of the 2nd Division. Two of your uncles will soon take over as captains. Who do I belong to? Hisagi Shuahei's young mind was deeply shocked. In the evening, Ichimaru Jin returned to the 7th Division captain's house with an excited Hisagi Shuahei. As soon as he entered the house, Hisagi Shuahei felt tremendous pressure. How is it? Can you still bear it? Ichimaru Jin said with a smile. Well, teacher, I have no problem. Now Hisagi Shuahei has shown his perseverance. Although there is pressure, he is not afraid. Ichimaru Jin nodded approvingly and said with a smile, let's go and meet your uncles first. With that said, he took Hisagi Shuahei into the side room. Bukuya, Zaraki, and Rangaku were all chatting here at this time. Hey, my dear junior brothers and sisters, have you missed your dear senior brothers? Ichimaru Jin's style is exactly the same as Beilong's, he is indeed his disciple. Senior brother, can you be more serious? Rangaku complained. Wait a minute, senior brother, who is this child? He can't be your illegitimate child, right? Zaraki Kenpachi took the lead. Ichimaru Jin's cheeks twitched. As expected from the teachings of Master Yoruichi and Master Yunohana, his words were bizarre. You are senior brother's disciple, right? It has to be Bukuya. Hisagi Shuahei's identity can be seen at a glance. Ichimaru Jin smiled and said, Look, it has to be my junior brother Bukuya, understand me. Bukuya Kuchiki rolled his eyes, mainly because they had been inseparable for so many years, Meng was inseparable, and Ichimaru Jin didn't have the time to commit the crime. Now the relationship between Ichimaru Jin and Bukuya is the same as the relationship between Kiraku Shansui and Jashiro Yukitaki, it can't be any harder. Shubing, come on, I've seen your uncles. Ichimaru Jin pulled Shubing in front of him and said with a smile. 
Hisagi Shuahei was not afraid of the stage, and bowed to everyone present honestly, which made Bukuya and others a little passive. This meeting was in a hurry, and we didn't prepare any gifts for my nephew. So, if you need anything in the future, just come to your uncle. Bukuya didn't hesitate and said directly. Rengaku and Zaraki thought the same way. After all, Ichimaru Jin was too hasty this time, and they were really unprepared. Thank you, uncles. Shu Bing saluted quickly. Ichimaru Jin rubbed Shuhei's head and said, Don't be polite to you guys, uncles. After a while, your uncle Bukuya will be the captain of the 6th division. Your uncle Zaraki will be the captain of the 11th division the day after tomorrow. You uncle Rangaku is now your master's vice captain, if you need any help from them, just ask. Hisagi Shuahei was shocked to the point of numbness. Good guy, their team is a little too outrageous. Starting from the captain of Yamamoto Genryusai, the worst one is also the vice captain level Shinigami. Oh, it seems that his master is currently the only one. Did not hold the position of Gote 13. Thinking of this, Shubing turned his head and glanced at his master. Ichimaru Jin still couldn't understand what his apprentice was thinking. He knocked Shubing's little head angrily and said, Your master, I can't stay in Spiritual Arts Academy. How many years will it take to join the third division? Xu Bing smiled coquettishly, making everyone present laugh. During dinner in the evening, Ichimaru Jin also introduced Shubing to Beilong and others. Beilong didn't expect that his apprentice's eyes were really vicious. On the first day I entered Spiritual Arts Academy, I found a captain level Shinigami from later generations, and he was an extremely special being. After all, Hisagi Shuahei's record is not bad. Together with Komamura Sajin, they can kill Tusen Konami. With this guy's personality, he is indeed the type that Ichimaru Jin likes. If Ichimaru Jin didn't need a toolman type of vice captain in the original work, then Hisagi Shuahei would be the most suitable vice captain for him. Beilong also praised Ichimaru Jin and Hisagi Shuahei with approval, which made Ichimaru Jin very happy. The next day, Ichimaru Jin also took Hisagi Shuahei to class. After all, the work that needs to be done still needs to be done, and Hisagi Shuahei is not suitable for cramming teaching, so Ichimaru Jin still needs to cultivate him carefully. Bukuya has returned to take over the power of the Kuchiki family. Starting today, Bukuya will also move away from the Beilong family. As the head of the Kuchiki family, it is really not a problem to live here in Beilong. If others don't say it, even Kuchiki Ginling won't agree. But now Bukuya Kuchiki is not so rigid. Different education styles make Bukuya Kuchiki's behavior more sharp. Facing the opposition within the family, Bukuya Kuchiki just said, You have the final say to defeat me, otherwise, I am the head of the family. This kind of reckless method really made the elders of the Kuchiki family very angry, but there was nothing they could do about Bukuya Kuchiki. After all, this is soul society, and big fists are the last word. Not to mention that Bukuya Kuchiki was not trained by their own family. The resources, time and knowledge spent in the growth process were paid for by Beilong. Bukuya Kuchiki integrates his own home without any psychological pressure. Kuchiki Yinling never thought that his grandson would become so decisive in killing. In just three days, the discordant voices in the family were cleared up. Kuchiki Yinling also had to sigh. Sure enough, the head of the family who was not trained within the clan would not be restricted by the clan. Kuchiki Gingling felt Bukuya's strong strength and tough tactics, and he retired from Yamamoto Genryusai with peace of mind. Report and prepare to live in retirement. Not only has the Kuchiki family experienced major changes, but so has the 11th squadron. Hey, this is the 11th division, call Kiyoshi out. Hey, which Shinigami team are you from? Do you dare to run wild in our 11th team? Shinigami, the gatekeeper of Division 11 looked at the huge young man with a little girl with pink hair and said with an unhappy expression. Can you call Captain Kiyoshi directly? Apologize quickly, otherwise I won't be able to spare you. Ha 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 ha, Zaraki Kenpachi laughed. You, why are you laughing? Shinigami, the gatekeeper, said angrily. Is Kiganho worthy of being the captain? Come on, call him out and go to the training ground. I'm going to kill him and become the captain of the 11th squadron. I remember, Gote 13 has this promotion method, right? 
Zaraki Kenpachi didn't even bother to talk to Xiao the minion was angry and waved his hand to the gatekeeper, Shinigami, to call someone. But Shinigami, the gatekeeper, heard that Zaraki Kenpachi was going to challenge Kigashima, and he drew his sword angrily and said, want to challenge our captain? You'd better pass me first. Zaraki Kenpachi shook his head helplessly, why do fools always come to die? He wants to fight with the strong, not play house with the weak. Therefore, Zaraki Kenpachi did not draw his sword at all and kicked the Shinigami away. The Shinigami who was guarding the gate was like a cannonball, which directly penetrated the gate of the 11th division and hit the yard of the 11th division. Inside, Shinigami, the other guard, looked at Zaraki Kenpachi in fear, and said tremblingly, wait. I'll call someone. Okay, Xiaojian, we are about to take down the 11th division. Zaraki Kenpachi also showed a scary smile and said, I hope this Kiyoshi Kenpachi, who is known as the strongest Shinigami outside the Gotei 13 captains, can bring me some fun. After saying that, Zaraki Kenpachi walked into the 11th division with a big smile on his shoulders. Kiganho is very happy now. After all, he can become the second strongest Shinigami in Gotei 13. Not to mention how happy he is, he likes the title Kenpachi so much. Therefore, Kiyoshi was very angry when he heard that someone wanted to challenge him. However, Kenpachi's challenge was like this, he had to face it. Let's go to the training ground. Generally speaking, the replacement of Kenpachi is a battle of life and death. If you win, you will get the position of captain of the 11th team and the name of Kenpachi, but if you lose, you will of course die, and nothing will be left. Of course, there are a few exceptions, such as Mole City Shuya, such as Yunohana Retsu, both of whom voluntarily gave up their position as Kenpachi. However, after Mole Joshuang also gave up the position of Kenpachi, Kenpachi's gold content also became lower. Kiganho was only a third-class spiritual power, which suddenly made the name Kenpachi unworthy of its name. You must know that whether it is Karia Shiki or Mole Hoshuya, they are both strong people who can't pervert anymore. Bankai's ability can be said to be unparalleled. Gui Yancheng is really a novice among novices, well, it can barely be regarded as a combat power of about one car to two cars of fists. So Zaraki Kenpachi was doomed to be disappointed. The strong showdown he expected did not actually exist at all. Except for those he can't beat, the one closest to the current Zaraki Kenpachi in strength should be Shiba Ishin. However, Shiba Ishin is an old actor and it is impossible for him to really fight Zaraki Kenpachi. Are you Kiganho? Zaraki Kenpachi stood on the training ground, looking at the tall and round man opposite with a confused expression on his face. It was really beyond his expectation. Although the strong man Reiatsu in front of him was powerful, he was only a third-class spiritual power. How could he serve as Kenpachi? That's right, I am Kenpachi Kiganho. If you know what's going on, just retreat. I won't kill you. Kiganho couldn't see how powerful Zaraki was in front of him, so he quickly spoke to persuade Zaraki to retreat. It's boring words. Since it's you, finish it quickly and then give me your position. Zaraki said disdainfully. What, kid, don't look down on me. I'm Kenpachi. Kiyoshi was really proud and happy now, and didn't take Zaraki's threat seriously at all. Bachinliu you go and watch, I will finish it soon. I got it, Xiaojian, you have to hurry up. We have to go back for dinner. Mistress Ujihua made me a dessert today, and it's delicious. Yachin Liu didn't care at all that the guy opposite him was going crazy with anger. Gui Yancheng smiled and ran away. Zaraki Kenpachi took the lead and drew his sword and said, just Bankai, otherwise, I will kill you with one sword. Zaraki Kenpachi's expression was very serious. Stop talking nonsense, kid. If that's the case, just go to hell. Kiganho was so angry at Zaraki Kenpachi's words that he didn't know what to say and drew his sword directly, but unfortunately, he did not listen to Zaraki Kenpachi's words. Directly to Bankai. Hey, Zaraki Kenpachi sighed, it's so hard to persuade the ghost. Kigashiro moved his feet and rushed towards Zaraki Kenpachi's face like a cannonball. The soul Zanpachi in his hand slashed hard at Zaraki Kenpachi. When, Zaraki Kenpachi held his sword with one hand to block Kiganjo's attack, looking like he was not exerting any force at all. How is it possible? Gui Yancheng was shocked. He had no intention of waterproofing the blow just now. He used all his strength. 
but it didn't have any impact on Zaraki. Zaraki used one hand to push him away. Qiancheng quickly inserted the soul-cutting sword in his hand into the ground, and stopped his body by relying on the power of the sword. With just one move, he was already at a disadvantage. All the members of the 11th Division who were watching the battle were shocked, Captain. You have to be careful. Come on, Captain. Although Kigashima was a vulgar person and had a very bad relationship with the captain, he was still very charming in the eyes of some officers and team members. But the problem is, if he were the captain of another division, that would be okay, but he is the captain of the 11th division. He is the current Kenpachi. Since you don't Bankai, then I'm not in the mood to continue playing with you. Zaraki Kenpachi looked at Kian Castle opposite and sneered. Although Zaraki Kenpachi likes Flata very much, it does not mean that he does not know moves. After Yunohana's teachings, Zaraki Kenpachi has learned some moves that can perfectly use his own power. Some moves can even allow him to use beyond his own strength. Powerful moves. Nine mountains and eight seas form one world. When thousands of worlds are gathered together, they become small thousand worlds. This world is multiplied by three, and there is no self. The secret is one big. Three thousand, great thousand worlds. Zaraki Kenpachi wrapped all his armaments and conquerors around his soul's ending sword, and unleashed a shocking slash at the Keegan Castle in front of him. The moves of Zoro, the three swordsmen from the world of pirates. It is also recorded in the book that Balong gave to Yunohana. This move is also Zaraki Kenpachi's favorite move. Although the name seems to be very long, in fact, it is really a slash. The huge crescent-shaped sword energy slashed towards Kigashima. At this moment, Kigashima felt the breath of death. He was shocked and shouted, Bankai. But before he could completely free the soul zanbing sword, the crescent-shaped sword energy had already completely cut him off with the soul zanbing sword. The huge sword energy did not stop and flew straight into the sky, cutting the clouds in the sky into two pieces. All Shinigami above the vice-captain level of Seraiti noticed this instant burst of Reiatsu and the huge gap in the sky. At the same time, Reiatsu, who represented Kigashima Castle, disappeared. Gui Yancheng didn't even grunt, he broke into two pieces and lay on the ground. This death was much worse than in the original work. In the original work, they still fought for a while, but now this one was killed instantly by a knife. It's still a matter of seconds before he can liberate the soul-cutting sword. Captain, Captain Kigashima. As the third seat, Ichino's Maki's eyes were bloodshot. He quickly ran forward to see if Kigashima was still alive. The result was of course affirmative, Kigashima was dead. What a boring battle. Zaraki Kenpachi swung his soul-cutting sword and put it on his shoulder. By the way, from today on, I am Zaraki Kenpachi, the captain of your 11th squad. Zaraki Kenpachi left these words before leaving with Yakiru. Captain, I will definitely avenge you. Ichino's Maki's eyes were full of hatred, and he silently collected the body of Kigashima with other team members, and cremated him according to Seraiti's regulations. Of course, from today on, Ichino's Maki has also disappeared from Soul Society, and he is looking for the possibility of revenge. Master, you lied to me. This was the first sentence Zaraki Kenpachi said when he returned to the seventh team. What's wrong, Zaraki, my disciple, when did my master lie to you? Balong looked puzzled. This Kiganho is so weak. Don't blame me, I doubt whether he can beat Yakiru. Zaraki Kenpachi complained. Balong touched his chin and said in surprise, are you so weak? This is something I didn't expect. Generally speaking, a Shinigami who serves as Kenpachi has a second-class spiritual power. You forgot, Lang, he was not a Kenpachi who rose up through the normal way in Keegan Castle. The previous Kenpachi was imprisoned in the Infernal Hell. He was a Kenpachi who fell through the cracks. Yoruichi really thought that Balong had forgotten this and said explained. Oh, it's our teacher's fault. After all, Gui Yancheng has never participated in a captain meeting from a hundred years ago to the present. We have never met him in person, so we misjudged it. Beilong sighed. A sound. They directly fooled Zaraki Kenpachi one after another, and they really thought that Beilong didn't know what was going on. However, Zaraki, starting from tomorrow, you will move to the 11th squadron. After all, you are also the captain of the 1st squadron. You must have your own identity. Don't worry, 
teacher, leave the 11th division to me, and I will definitely train them to be strong in combat. Zaraki Kenpachi promised, patting his chest. Ah, then Yakiru can't live with Mrs. Ujihua. Xiao Yakiliu was a little unhappy. Yunohana comforted her and said, it's okay. If Yachinliu likes it, you can always live here. But Yachinliu shook his head and said with a smile, no, I'd better live with Xiaojian. As soon as he said this, Beilong looked at his apprentice and looked at him with something wrong. This guy wouldn't want the Japanese soul-cutting sword like Nameya Wang Yu. Suddenly, Beilong's eyes became awe-inspiring. Zaraki Kenpachi, who was being looked at by Beilong, felt weird, as if he had done something extraordinary. Speaking of which, Xiao Cao Aya should have passed the captain test and can serve as the captain of the second division. Yoruichi thought for a while. Beilong nodded, just in time, three happy things have come to our door. News has also come from the Kuchiki family. Byakuya has been able to take over as the captain of the 6th division. Senior Kuchiki Yinling's retirement report has finally been approved by old man Sean. It's not easy for Ginling Senpei. You have to be pulled out to be the captain at such an old age. The Kuchiki family has really lacked some talents in the past few hundred years. Yoruichi also sighed. Just look at Yunohana. Kuchiki Ginling may be a little younger than Yunohana, but looking at the difference in appearance between the two, my dear, they are several generations apart. Of course, it is also caused by the fact that Yunohana's Reiatsu is too powerful. The stronger the Reiatsu, the longer it can live. Even an ordinary Shinigami with only a team member level Reiatsu can live for thousands of years, let alone Yunohana. A level master. Apart from anything else, there are a few real immortals in the Spirit King's palace. Whether it's Nigeo, Shiramaru Senju Maru or Aikibe Hayasu, they are all characters who have lived for who knows how long. Even the monk may have lived for more than 110,000 years. Then, if that's the case, then we can let old man Sean prepare to retire. Everyone in the room was stunned after hearing Beilong's words, but they quickly came to their senses. Lang, now, Mao Zhihua asked, isn't it a bit rushed? Yoruichi also reminded. Don't worry, it's time. I think the old man can't wait anymore. Beilong's eyes seemed to penetrate time and space, and he saw Yamamoto Ginryu sigh in the first team. Captain Sama, will there be a meeting for the new captain tomorrow? Chojiro Sasaki basked. Well, just tomorrow, I think that brat can't wait any longer. Yamamoto Genryusai also smiled, showing the joy of retirement. On the table behind him were four captain appointment letters. The next day, the first team's headroom. Today is a big day, there are four captain level Shinigami taking office at once. This is an unprecedented event since the establishment of Gotei 13. Yamamoto Genryusai also stood in the main position for the last time, looking at everything around him. From today on, he, Yamamoto Genryusai, should step down from the position of captain. The captains also filed in and stood in odd and even numbers under the instructions of Chojiro Sasaki. New captains, please come in too, Yamamoto Genryusai said, leaning on the soul-slaying sword. As soon as he finished speaking, the door to the team leader's room opened, and Soi Fan took the lead, followed by Bukuya, Zaraki, and Kuritsuchi Mayuri. These four are the new captains of our Gotei 13. Sui Feng, captain of the 2nd division, Bukuya Kuchiki, captain of the 6th division, Zaraki Kenpachi, captain of the 11th division, and Kuritsuchi Mayuri, captain of the 12th division, who also serves as director of the Bureau of Science and Technology Development. Invite the four of you. Yamamoto Genryusai also gave a brief introduction. Soi Fan, who has inherited the name Sui Feng, is also taking the lead. Yamamoto Genryusai looked at the captains on the left and right. In just a few decades, the captains have changed again. Captains, do you have anything else to do? If not, then go back to your team. Wait a minute. Before Yamamoto Genryusai finished speaking, someone stood up first. It's none other than the new captain of Division 12, Kuritsuchi Mayuri. Captain Yamamoto, I have a small idea, I don't know if it is mature or not, that is, ask Captain Yamamoto to step down and make way for someone else. Kuritsuchi Mayuri's words are groundbreaking. The faces of Aizen Sosuke and Kiraku Shunsui became very exciting. They never expected that Beilong would attack at this time. 
Just when Kiraku Shunsui was about to stand up and say something, Jishiro Yukitaki came out first, but his words made Kiraku Shunsui's face darken. That's right, Mr. Yama is getting old and it's time to abdicate. These light words made Yamamoto Genryusai even stiffer. As soon as Jishiro Yukitaki finished speaking, the other captains also sounded the charge horn. Captain Yamamoto please step aside. Captain Yamamoto please step aside. Captain Yamamoto please step aside. Except for Aizen, Kiraku, Tusan Konami and Bailong, all the other captains stood up and shouted this. Finally, under the expectant gaze of Yamamoto Genryusai, Bailong stepped out and saluted Yamamoto Genryusai and said, Disciple Bailong, please ask Mr. Yamamoto to abdicate. Chapter 61 Yamamoto Genryusai looked at all the captains in the room and shook his head helplessly. Good guy, my disciple is really capable. If he hadn't chosen his successor personally and allowed this guy to control other divisions, he wouldn't have thought that this guy would have controlled the entire Gotei 13 so quickly. Of course, Aizen and Tusan Konami were ignored by him. After all, Aizen is still a good boy now, and Tusan Konami is full of justice and can't see anything wrong at all. Okay, okay, it looks like I'm really old. But, Yamamoto Genryusai changed the topic. I don't think I'm old enough to carry a knife yet. As soon as these words came out, Jishiro Yukitaki was stunned for a moment, huh? The script is wrong. According to the agreement, the teacher should not just step down and make way for him. Why did he start talking about his sword? Is there anything about the sword in this? Bailong knew clearly in his heart that although the old man was about to retire, he refused to accept his old age and wanted to see if Bailong had the ability to serve as the captain. Who do you recommend to be the captain? Come forward. Teacher, what they recommended is exactly this. Bailong knew that he could not retreat at this time, so he stood up and spoke directly. Yamamoto Genryusai smiled happily at first, but then his expression suddenly changed and he said, Bailong. If you want to be the captain, let the soul-cutting sword in your hand speak for itself. As soon as these words came out, Kiraku Shunsui was speechless. No, after all, I am also the previous heir. Look at me, how can I pass over me so smoothly? 8. Question mark. Of course, Kiraku Shunsui was performed for Aizen. To be honest, today's performance really disrupted Aizen's rhythm. According to Aizen's plan, the guardian boss of Soul Society should be Yamamoto Genryusai. Why hasn't his plan been implemented yet? The boss needs to be replaced first. After all, Bailong is usually very quiet. Aizen thought that he was at least on the same level as Kiraku Shunsui and Jashiro Yukitaki. Unexpectedly, this unexpected being actually wanted to be the captain. And he also won over so many captains without his knowledge. No wonder when he went to recruit Kiraku Shunsui, Kiraku Shunsui said that he couldn't beat Bailong and Yamamoto Genryusai. Aizen didn't find out about such a big thing in advance, it was really beyond his expectation. Originally Aizen thought Bailong was just forming a clique for personal gain, but he didn't expect that he would directly force him into the palace. After all, as the captain, the most important thing is nothing but strength. Then, old man Sean, I need to ask for your advice. Although something unplanned happened, Bailong did not panic. In fact, Bailong knew it, and so did Yamamoto Yuenyazai. As early as Bailong's first return from Soul King Palace, Yamamoto Yuanryujai was no longer Bailong's opponent. Another 50 years have passed, and it is obvious that Bailong is now more powerful. Yamamoto Genryusai does not know where his apprentice has reached now. The oldest Shinigami also wants to know how strong his apprentice is now. The two of them used Shunpo in tandem to reach the top of Saraiti, the captain's handover station, and they must let everyone in Gotei 13 know. The other captains in the first team's headroom also rushed to watch the game. Not only that, Yoruichi also brought Ichimaru Jin, Matsumoto Rengaku, Kusajishi Yakiru and the ignorant Hisagi Shuahei to watch the game. This is a captain-level battle. Without the third-level spiritual power, there is no way to watch the battle normally. Hisagi Shuahei is the only Shinigami below the vice-captain level. Of course, with Yoruichi protecting him, there will be no problems. You brat, do you know how long I've been waiting for this day? Yamamoto revealed his upper body again, revealing his battle-scarred body. Facing his beloved disciple, Yamamoto Genryusai did not dare to be careless. 
Although he did not release the soul-cutting sword when he came up, he had already taken a fighting stance. Old man Sean, I have been waiting for this day for a long time. In other words, from the moment I became a disciple, I have already wanted to sit in your position. Baelong was also extremely excited. Although this paragraph was not included in the prearranged script, the atmosphere has been heightened to this point, and this battle is inevitable. However, the disruptor has arrived. Baelong, as a disciple of Mr. Yamamoto, you actually try to usurp power. This is intolerable. If you want to be the captain, you must first pass me, Hiraku Shunsui. Hiraku Shunsui who came over also scolded Baelong angrily, making him seem to support the authority of the captain. Baelong looked at the senior brother who made an impassioned speech and was speechless in his heart. Good guy, what's wrong with everyone today? They are all adding drama to themselves like crazy. But don't tell me, Hiraku Shunsui's performance is really good. At least he has his own people. But Yamamoto Genryusai was speechless, what's going on, Hiraku, you kid is causing trouble. Just when Yamamoto Genryusai was about to scold Hiraku Shunsui loudly, Yoruichi and the others also came to the battlefield. Uncle Jingle, don't say that. My master just thinks that he is too tired and wants him to retire early. It's not as purposeful as you said. As Beilong's top disciple, Ichimaru Jin saw the plot take a turn, so he stepped forward without hesitation and said to Kiraku Shunsui with a smile. Also, master, although I respect you, I don't like it if you want to attack my master. Since master is interested, how about you let me play with you? Ichimaru Jin although there was a smile on his face, his words were not so respectful. Hiraku Shunsui was relieved in his heart. Fortunately, Ichimaru Jin stepped forward, otherwise he would not be able to continue acting. But on the surface, Hiraku Shunsui laughed angrily and said, Okay, okay. You masters and disciples are really of the same blood. Even you, Ichimaru Jin, want to challenge me. Then come and give it a try. With that said, Le Chunshui pulled out his two swords. Jashiro Yukitaki also started to perform below, No. Kyoryu, he is your nephew. How can anyone take the lead in attacking his nephew? Shut up, Jashiro. We have been friends for so many years, and now you are still talking for them. Hiraku Shunsui became even more angry. Uncle Jashiro, it's obvious that Uncle Kiraku has fallen into chaos. Let's let my nephew wake him up. Ichimaru Jin said, stopping Jashiro Yukitaki who wanted to continue arguing with Kiraku Shunsui. If he doesn't stop him, the scene will go astray. Beilong has already winked at Ichimaru Jin several times. Later, after Kiraku Shunsui's identity was exposed, everyone discovered that, my goodness, the Yamamoto Genryusai faction is really a family of actors. Shoot it, Shinso. Ichimaru Jin was the first to take action, and the soul zanding sword in his hand instantly lengthened, and he shot straight towards Kiraku Shunsui. Kiraku Shunsui's speed was also extremely fast, and he blocked the soul zanding sword in both hands in front of him, but Shinso pushed him. Flying far away, far away from the battlefield of Beilong and Yamamoto Yuanlujai. Ichimaru Jin waved his hands to the captain's present and said, then I'll take the first step. After saying that, he disappeared in an instant. However, all the captain's present looked serious. Even they couldn't perfectly follow Ichimaru Jin's move just now. If Kiraku Shunsui wasn't strong enough, he would probably overturn in the hands of Ichimaru Jin. Seeing the strength displayed by Ichimaru Jin, Aizen suddenly felt as if something was missing in his heart. He never expected that his toolman would be abducted by Beilong in advance. And Shiba Ishin praised Yunohana, it's true that a famous teacher makes a great disciple. Ichimaru Jin's move just now was difficult even for me to deal with. Yunohana just smiled slightly and did not praise anything. However, it was obvious that the proud Yunohana Retsu thought that the child raised by my mother was of course strong. It was obvious that he acquiesced to Shiba Ishin's words. Now that the troublemaker has left, our battle is about to begin. Beilong, I want to see if your defense is still that strong now. Yamamoto Genryusai directly pulled out the soul-cutting sword. Everything is reduced to ashes, Ryujin Jaka. A huge Reiatsu was released from Yamamoto Genryusai's body. Yamamoto Genryusai's originally shriveled body was filled with muscles again. 
The captains present immediately used their own Reiatsu to resist the Reiatsu that Yamamoto Genryusai accidentally released. Teacher Yama is serious this time. Jashiro Yukitaki, who was watching the battle, said in surprise. Yunohana seems to have seen the strong man who led first generation Gote 13 appear again. Don't worry, old man Sean, you won't have a chance to hit me this time. Times have changed. Beilong also improved his own Reiatsu and pulled out his own soul cutting sword. The sacred voice rang in his ears Baki, Boki, born, Gaki, Goki, born, primitive dragon, ancient flying dragon. A light blue cloak appeared behind Beilong, and the soul cutting sword in Beilong's hand also underwent aging. The blade became more slender, and the blade became two colors, with the upper part being light blue. The lower part is silvery white. Reiatsu, who is as powerful as Yamamoto Genryusai, appears around Beilong's body. The captains who were watching the game were even more surprised. Beilong didn't just talk about it verbally, he really has the ability to compete head-on with Yamamoto Genryusai. Only Aizen's heart sank. He still underestimated Beilong. What's more, Aizen didn't know that Beilong had been to the Lingwang Palace. After decades, Aizen still has a dark eye for Team Zero and the Soul King. It was after Hekafuna Kiryu was promoted that Aizen sneaked into the Great Soul Book Corridor to investigate matters about Team Zero and the Soul King. You are worthy of being my disciple. Take advantage of my move. Torch. A torch-like tornado flew toward Beilong, and the intense heat even burned Beilong's entire body. But Beilong now is no longer the Beilong he used to be. Back then, he couldn't see Yamamoto Genryusai's moves clearly, but now it's completely different. Beilong put the soul-cutting sword into his waist and made a drawing and slashing posture. Drink. Beilong hit the soul-cutting sword with a fierce wave of his hand, and a big silver dragon's mouth appeared directly, eating Yamamoto Genryusai's attack. What? Yamamoto Genryusai was shocked. This was the first time his attack was eaten down. Beilong smiled and said, Old man Sean, I have always told you that my soul-cutting sword has many stages, but what I didn't say is what the abilities of each stage of my soul-cutting sword are. The ancient flying dragon. It has power from ancient times. It can swallow and destroy anything in the world. This is the power of my soul-slaying sword. Beilong explained confidently. After all, a major feature of Shinigami battles is storytelling, and Beilong certainly integrates it very well. Humph, it's just a small trick. Hot hell, Yamamoto Genryusai swung the soul-cutting sword times again, and dozens of sky-reaching fire pillars appeared around Beilong, gathering together, and a violent explosion occurred directly around Beilong. As soon as this move came out, all the captains present had ugly expressions. Even they couldn't avoid this move. Grip, Master, Hisagi Shuahei was a little panicked, and Yakiru was also a little worried. But Yoruichi smiled and said, Don't worry, such moves can't hurt your master. Before he finished speaking, the smoke caused by the explosion in the hot hell dissipated, and a silver-white giant dragon appeared around Beilong, firmly protecting him within it. The explosion just now did not cause any damage to this giant dragon. Roar. The giant dragon roared at Yamamoto Genryusai, and then slowly dispersed. Old man Sean, this move of yours is quite powerful. But unfortunately, you can't penetrate my ancient dragon at all. Beilong said provocatively with a smile again. It's not over yet. The end of Senju, the noble hand of Koden cannot be touched, the archer of the sky cannot be reflected, the road of shining light, the wind fanning the fire, there is no need to be confused when we gather together, just follow my instructions. Light Bullet 8 Body Kuho Tian Jing Ji Bao Big Wheel, the Grey Turret, leads the bow into the distance, and dissipates brightly. Hados 91, Senju Jiaoshan Taipao, Mountain. Motomoto Ryuzai held up the Ryujin Jaka and unceremoniously launched this completely chanted Hado No. 90 at Beilong, Senju Kaden Taipao. The red light cannon formed a group and rushed straight to Beilong's face. Beilong smiled slightly and held the soul-killing knife tightly in his hand. A collision will kill you. Beilong held the soul-slaying knife in his back and swung it forward fiercely. Three blue-black crescent-shaped flame impact slashes directly collided with the Senju Jiaoshan Taipao. The two sides collided and a violent explosion occurred. A small mushroom cloud was formed directly between Beilong and Yamamoto Genryusai. 
The aftermath of the powerful Reiatsu even made the captains so blind that they couldn't even open their eyes. The little guy Hisagi Shuahei was even protected by Yoruichi. If not for this, Hisagi Shuahei would have even been killed directly in the aftermath of the battle. This is the scary thing about captain level battles. If Beilong hadn't strengthened a wave of soul society, that blow just now might have even cracked the soul society's space. It might even have affected the entire soul society's ecology. Is this a captain level battle? Ishin Shiba, a handsome young man who was watching the battle, sighed. Before he lost his Shinigami power, Shiba was still a handsome guy. Just by looking at his appearance, you would never be able to tell who was the uncle and the nephew between him and Shiba Kayan. And it seems that in terms of age, Shiba Ishin is really not much older than Shiba Kayan. Kuritsuchi Mayuri also exclaimed, what an amazing fighting power. Is this the true strength of Captain Beilong? He didn't expect that his financial sponsor would be so strong. At the same time, he was secretly glad that he didn't do anything shady. Not bad, kid, then, try this trick from me. After using Kido, Yamamoto Genryusai finally took the soul-cutting sword. The Ryujin Jaka in his hand slashed directly at Beilong without using any moves, very unpretentious. When, but this time, Beilong easily caught Yamamoto Genryusai's slash with the soul-cutting sword in his hand, and did not fall into a disadvantage at all. Instead, he started to fight back. Yamamoto Genryusai was shocked at first, and then started to fight with Beilong Yu. There was no way, he really couldn't defeat his apprentice now. Although he couldn't do it at first, at that time Beilong could only defend passively and couldn't even see his movements. It's different now. Looking at the guy holding the knife, you can really confront him head on. Aizen narrowed his eyes as he looked at the two people who were constantly fighting. Is this Beilong's confidence to challenge the captain? He is indeed a powerful guy. Jashiro Yukitaki is worried. No one knows how powerful Beilong is than him, who is the right hand of the Soul King. He is worried that Soul Society's strongest Shinigami Yamamoto Genryusai will be injured in Beilong's hands. Yoruichi and Yunohana are not worried at all. No one knows how confident they are in their men. Zaraki Kenpachi looked at the two fighting men, and his blood burned again. However, he still has self-awareness now. He couldn't free the soul's ending sword, and he couldn't even defeat his brothers, let alone fight with his master and master. Beilong also waved his sword again to force Yamamoto Genryusai back. He moved his wrist and said, Old man Sean, how about the warm-up exercise ends here? Yamamoto Genryusai smiled and said, Okay, since my disciple has said so, let's officially enter the battle. The conversation between the two surprised the captains present. A battle of this level was just a warm-up exercise. This was something they never expected. That's right, whether it's Captain General or Captain Beilong, it seems there's no Bankai yet. Shiba said, focusing on being an excellent commentator. At this time, Chojiro Sasaki came to the captains and said, Everyone, please pay attention. The captain and Beilong are about to release the soul Zanting sword. The captains should step back a little distance to avoid being affected by the battle between the two of them. As soon as these words came out, everyone's expressions changed. Except for Yunohana and Chojiro Sasaki, no one had ever seen Yamamoto Genryusai's Bankai. Even his two good apprentices Kiraku Shunsui and Jashiro Yukitaki have never been seen before. For a time, the interest of the captains was also aroused. Everyone was very confident in their own strength and did not choose to evacuate here. Chojiro Sasaki also shook his head, saying that it was hard to persuade the ghost. When Yamamoto Genryusai and Beilong really liberated the soul-cutting sword, they would know the seriousness of the matter. However, Beilong did not take the lead in liberating the soul-cutting sword. Instead, Yamamoto Genryusai held the sword across his chest with one hand and said calmly, You brat, the power of my soul-cutting sword is huge. Even I can't guarantee that I can keep it. If you don't want to die, it's better to surrender directly. Ageb. Beilong chuckled and said energetically, Old man Sean, I've long wanted to see your soul-killing sword. Come over here. Yamamoto Genryusai nodded without saying a word. The Reiatsu in his body has once again improved to a higher level. Bankai. Zanha Taisho. The old and cold voice sounded, as if Beilong was instantly brought back to the Chinese Gotei 13 inches just established a thousand years ago. 
It was the old man in front of me who was guarding the entire Gotei 13 with his devilish soul-cutting sword. On the other side, Ichimaru Jin and Kiraku Shunsui are also fighting fiercely. Kiraku Shunsui didn't dare to let go. After all, he didn't know whether Aizen would spy on him at this time, so Kiraku Shunsui didn't hide it at all. There is a saying that Kiraku Shunsui agrees with very much, that is, the prerequisite for deceiving others is to deceive yourself first. Only when you deceive yourself is the highest level of deceiving. But Kiraku Shunsui was really surprised. Needless to say, the young man in front of him actually managed to win against him. Moreover, Kiraku Shunsui himself couldn't tell how much strength the kid opposite had hidden. Kiraku Shunsui really wants to see how strong Ichimaru Jin is now. Although Kiraku Shunsui gave up the position of captain, he still doesn't know how strong Beilong is. He only knows that Yamamoto Genryusai said he is very strong, but what? To what extent, Kiraku Shunsui doesn't know. Not only Beilong, but also how powerful Beilong's apprentices and wives are, he doesn't know. Beilong's sect is hidden too deeply. Now Jashiro Yukitaki has learned badly from Beilong and started to hide his own strength. Hiraku Shunsui was slightly distracted, and Ichimaru Jin's Shinso directly pierced the flower robe on his back. Hey, hey, you don't need to be so serious with your uncle. It's very dangerous, Hiraku Shunsui said helplessly after getting out of the way, looking at the rip in his floral robe. If that's the case, then don't blame your uncle for bullying the younger. Hiraku Shunsui raised his swords in a cross shape. The flower wind is disordered, the flower god cries. The sky wind is disordered, the demon sneers. Kaden Kyokutsu. In an instant, the two sealed state swords in Kiraku Shunsui's hands changed their forms. Two swords, one long and one short, appeared in Kiraku Shunsui's hands. Oh my, Master's Reiatsu is really powerful, Ichimaru Jin said with some surprise. Although Ichimaru Jin was surprised in words, Ichimaru Jin showed no surprise at all in his expression. Hey, you are the real scary guy. You don't seem to be oppressed by my Reiatsu at all, Hiraku Shunsui said in surprise. Don't say that, uncle, I just want to stop you anyway, I don't have to decide the winner with you. Ichimaru Jin looked weak, not caring about Kiraku Shunsui's attitude at all, as if he just here to delay time. Today's young people are really like this. Hiraku Shunsui didn't even know what to say. But at this moment, the two of them also sensed the powerful Reiatsu coming from the distance. Not only that, it seemed as if the entire Soul Society air was about to burn. Even in Rukongai, you can feel the power of Yamamoto Genryusai Reiatsu. Really, is this master's true strength? Ichimaru Jin began to sweat on his head, because the temperature in the entire Soul Society began to rise. If Beilong hadn't strengthened the entire Soul Society, then as long as Yamamoto Genryusai's Benkai lasted for a period of time without launching an attack, Soul Society would have burned out on its own. Hiraku Shunsui also sighed, it's really terrible. It seems that Mr. Sean is serious. Then, I can't continue like this. Hiraku Shunsui's face became serious and he attacked Ichimaru Jin again. Master, why are we still fighting here? Wouldn't it be good to go back and watch the battle between Master and my Master? Ichimaru Jin complained while dodging Hiraku Shunsui's attack. Of course it's not good. Hiraku Shunsui said angrily. The screen switches back to Beilong. Looking at the old man who was like the sun in front of him, Beilong couldn't help but nodded slightly. This is his teacher's true strength. However, Yamamoto Genryusai's Benkai did not change as devastatingly as he imagined. It was just that the soul-cutting sword in his hand turned into a burnt black color. Apart from the fact that the temperature of soul society was slowly rising, there were no other changes. Is this Benkai from Mr. Yamamoto Genryusai? Why doesn't it seem like it has changed much? Yoruichi asked curiously. Her grandfather Shihuan Seni was a comrade with Yamamoto Genryusai, and he met Yamamoto Genryusai's Benkai, but her grandfather did not tell Yoruichi what Yamamoto Genryusai's Benkai was like, he only talked about Yamamoto Genryusai's Benkai. It's just amazing. Yes, this is Captain Yamamoto Genryusai's Benkai. An absolutely terrifying weapon, Yunohana affirmed. But even though Yunohana said so, the other captains still had doubts. You, be careful, I can't hold back in this state. 
Yamamoto Genryusai continued to give instructions, for fear that something would go wrong. Stop the ink stains, master, come quickly, I can't wait any longer. HMPH, I don't know what the so-called boy is. The sword of powerful fire. Yamamoto Genryusai was faster and appeared in front of Beilong in an instant, slashing at Beilong mercilessly with the soul-cutting knife in his hand. However, Beilong was faster and had already dodged Yamamoto Genryusai's attack by turning slightly sideways. However, Yamamoto Genryusai smiled slightly. The charred knife suddenly burst out with fierce flames. Fortunately, Beilong was fast enough anyway, a silver dragon appeared on the surface of his body, he took this move forcefully and then got out of the way instantly. It is indeed the strongest Shinigami, even if Beilong knows the moves of the residual fire sword, he still suffers a small loss. If he hadn't reacted quickly enough, his pants would have been burned off by now. Yamamoto Genryusai continued to pursue, and Hengdao immediately said, Remnant Fire Taito Higashi Rising Sun Blade. Then he continued to pursue Beilong, waving the soul-cutting knife in his hand, using various moves, and every attack completely burned the air around Beilong. And it kept making air explosion sounds, so Beilong could only dodge and not dare to resist. Seeing that he could not hit Beilong, Yamamoto Genryusai did not continue to chop blindly, but shouted again, Zanha Taisho Shi, Zani Prison Clothes. In an instant, Yamamoto Genryusai's entire body was wrapped in flames, and the air around him continued to burn, as if the space around him began to distort. Kid, the temperature of my Canry Prison Clothes is 15 million degrees. If you touch it, you will die. Although Beilong knew that Yamamoto Genryusai was wearing the burning coat of his own Reiatsu, he really didn't dare to touch it at all, and still used his speed to avoid it. No matter how much Yamamoto Genryusai chases him, he can't catch up with him. Kid, can you only run? Yamamoto Genryusai was a little angry. This guy only knew how to run, but he didn't want to fight him head on. In that case, don't blame me. Remnant Fire Taisho Nan Fire 10 Trillions Death Burial Formation. Enemies that had been killed by Yamamoto Genryusai's residual fire sword continued to appear from the void. They turned into charred skeletons, restricting Beilong's actions one after another. Oops, Beilong was slightly shocked after being restrained. Kid, what's next is the last blow you'll ever see. Yamamoto Genryusai didn't hold back. Remnant Fire Taisho North, Ashes of Heaven and Earth. 11. Yamamoto Genryusai saw that Beilong was under control, and instantly came to Beilong. The soul-cutting sword in his hand slashed at Beilong at an extremely fast speed. This sword was accompanied by Yamamoto Genryusai's energy and spirit, and it was a sure kill. One knife. It was as if the color of heaven and earth had changed at this moment. All the captains watching the game began to worry about Beilong. However, even with such a sword, it still failed to penetrate Beilong's defense. When, this killing blow was blocked by the soul-killing knife in Beilong's hand. Even at a high temperature of 15 million degrees, there is no sign of Beilong's soul-killing sword melting. Old man, you're done fighting, isn't it my turn? Beilong's expression turned cold. Seeing that his killing blow was blocked by Beilong with the knife in his hand, Yamamoto Genryusai's eyes flashed with shock. You know, the temperature of his soul-cutting sword is as high as 15 million degrees. Even this temperature can't make Beilong's soul-cutting sword change in any way. This is the strength of the holy sword, the fire sword, the fire. No matter what kind of flame it is, don't even think about causing any harm to the fire. Looking at the surprised Yamamoto Genryuzai, Beilong also smiled and said, Old man Sean, you're done fighting, it's my turn. Seeing Beilong blocking Yamamoto Genryusai's killing blow, all the captains including Aizen thought this was simply incredible. Even Aizen felt that if he was controlled by the knife just now, he would definitely be dead. But such an outrageous strike was actually blocked by Beilong. After Yamamoto Genryusai saw that the sword was ineffective, he quickly retreated. He had basically exhausted all his moves, and he failed to take down his apprentice. This was something he did not expect. Beilong looked at the silent Yamamoto Genryusai and said, Teacher, I have seen your Bankai, but you haven't seen my Bankai yet. As soon as these words came out, everyone was shocked again. They only focused on Yamamoto Genryusai's Bankai, but Beilong's Bankai hadn't been used yet. 
The situation has turned again. The Reiatsu in Beilong's body also began to rise, and finally it even rose to a point where the captains present could not sense it. Just like ordinary people can't see Shinigami and Kion, they can't sense Beilong's Reiatsu now either. Yamamoto Genryusai suddenly changed his color, and ten different holy swords appeared behind Beilong in front of him. Each sword has a different style. Beilong threw the flaming sword in his hand into the sky, and the ten holy swords behind him also flew into the sky. Fire, flowing water, yellow sky, stirring earth, green wind, tin sound, dark moon, the brightest light, wolf smoke, realm of time. Ten swords form a giant Kabbalistic tree of life above soul society. This spectacle shocked all the Shinigami present. Yamamoto Genryusai's Bankai was scary enough, but I didn't expect Beilong's Bankai to be even better. The ten holy swords were harmonized by the eleventh sword, the nameless sword, and merged into a new sword, which quickly descended in front of Beilong. This sword is the color of the flowing galaxy, with the runes of each holy sword engraved on it. Beilong stretched out his hand to hold the sword, and his Reiatsu skyrocketed again. Now Beilong's first-class spiritual power is no longer enough to describe his Reiatsu level. If we want to describe his Reiatsu level, that is a quasi-king level spirit. This king is no other king, he is the king of the spiritual king. He can now be said to have stepped into the realm of the spiritual king. Moreover, this is not over yet, the moment Beilong holds the sword, the sacred chanting sound appears. The ten holy blades of the king of blades. The cross of creation. The shining stars descended together with the miracle. O oh, noble and great power, the blazing fire of courage. X-Ross Saber. X-Ross Saber. X-Ross Saber. The ten fused swords. King of blades. Ten holy blades. Looking at his disciple, Yamamoto Genryusai's eyes almost popped out in shock. Is this his disciple's Bankai? He even sensed the power to create the world on the ten sacred blades in Beilong's hands. Yamamoto Genryusai couldn't believe it and thought it was just an illusion. In fact, the ten sacred blades really have the ability to create the world. How about it, old man Sean, this is my Bankai. At the same time, the cloak behind Beilong also changed color, and clothes like a flowing starry sky appeared on his body, and there was a starry sky cape behind him, matching him that silver hair, not to mention how handsome he is. Or to put it another way, Shinigami fights to see who is more handsome. Generally speaking, the handsome ones have the same fighting ability, but only the ugly ones do. Yamamoto Genryusai also wanted to see the true combat power of the Ten Holy Blades, so he said, Come on, Beilong, let me see how powerful you are now. Beilong nodded, he thought the same thing, he couldn't just Bankai once and let everyone watch the fun. You must know how strong you are. Old man Sean, be careful. The ten sacred blades in Beilong's hand moved. The ten sacred blades in Beilong's hand were wrapped with nebula-like aura, releasing a silver blade of light and slashing straight at Yamamoto Genryusai. Yamamoto Genryusai sensed the powerful power attached to this sword and quickly dodged to the side. I saw that the entire Saraiti was split into two halves by this knife. A big crack appeared on the ground. When Yamamoto Genryusai saw this scene, his blood pressure was so high that he immediately released his Bankai. He gave up. He couldn't take this sword. He knew that his apprentice had betrayed him. Otherwise, if he was stabbed this time, he would probably have to report to hell. However, seeing the huge cracks on the ground, Yamamoto Genryusai couldn't help but said angrily, You evil disciple. Do you know how long it will take to repair these places? Seeing Yamamoto Genryusai disarm Bankai and exit the combat state, Beilong also smiled and said, Don't worry, master. With that said, Beilong swung his sword again, and the rainbow-like light blade completely restored the damage caused by the previous battle, as if it had never appeared at all. Yamamoto Genryusai breathed a sigh of relief, but at the same time he sighed, his apprentice's soul-cutting sword is really powerful. Aizen looked at this scene and Kakuzu's eyes twitched a little, Good guys, are all of your Genryu disciples perverts? However, if they knew that this was just the insignificant power of Beilong's ten sacred blades, they would probably not be able to sleep at all. Hisagi Shuahei was really eye-opening. He saw such a battle of top players when he first entered Saraiti. This undoubtedly played a very good leading role in his future development. 
Even Yoruichi and Yunohana saw Beilong Bankai's condition for the first time. They knew Beilong was strong, but they didn't expect Beilong to be so powerful. This ability can be said to be the ability to create the world, which really shocked them. Not to mention several of Beilong's apprentices, only Ichimaru Jin, who was having a good fight with Kiraku Shunsui, did not see this scene. However, the knife that separated Seraiti just now still stopped the fight between the two. After all, just now they both almost thought that Soul Society was going to be destroyed, so how could they have the energy to continue fighting? The two of them also hurried back to the battle site between Beilong and Yamamoto Genryusai. Although they were shocked to see the road restored again on the way, it only made them move a little faster. Unfortunately, by the time they returned to the battlefield, the battle was over, and Yamamoto, Genryusai and Beilong had already left. Only Aizen stood there, looking thoughtful. Hiraku Shunsui quickly stepped forward and asked, Captain Aizen, is the battle over? What happened? Aizen still had that gentle smile on his face, nodded and said, yes, the battle is over, you guys came back late. Ichimaru Jin was surprised and asked quickly, then who won? Ah, who won? Of course it's our Captain Beilong. Aizen left a smile and disappeared. Hiraku Shunsui quickly chased after him, leaving only a silly Ichimaru Jin. The first team captain's room. Yamamoto Genryusai said angrily to Chojiro Sasaki, Okay, Chojiro, hurry up and pack up. Let's find a place for the new captain. Hey, teacher, don't say that. Don't be angry, you still have to go to the spiritual king's palace. You still said that you, a brat, didn't do this. Yamamoto glared when he mentioned this matter. After the battle just ended, Yamamoto Genryusai announced that Beilong would succeed the captain of Gotei 13. Beilong also gave Yamamoto Genryusai a big surprise. By order of the Soul King, Yamamoto Genryusai Shigakuni is now appointed to be promoted to the Zero Division. Due to Yamamoto Genryusai Shigakuni's meritorious service in guarding Soul Society for many years, he was promoted to a member of Team Zero and will go to Soul King Palace in the near future. Beilong took out the Spirit King Silver Medal and stabbed his teacher who wanted to retire in the back. This is the reason why Yamamoto Genryusai is blowing his beard and staring. Well, he was already going to retire gloriously and enjoy the blessings, but he was dragged back to burn himself. How can Yamamoto Genryusai not be angry? Beilong could only lick his face and explain, Teacher, don't be angry. Just because you were promoted to the Zero Division, it doesn't mean that you can continue to enjoy the blessings in Seraiti. When Yamamoto Genryusai heard this, he perked up and said, You mean, even if I am promoted to the Zero Division, I can continue to be in Seraiti? Of course, being promoted to Division Zero is just recognition of your work over the years, teacher. I don't want you to actually go to the Soul King Palace to guard the Soul King. You can still go back to Spiritual Arts Academy and be the dean. Beilong quickly said things are made clear. Yamamoto Genryusai nodded with satisfaction and said, Well, Beilong, I have always thought that you are my best disciple. Now that I see it, it is indeed true. Beilong looked at Yamamoto Genryusai, who was laughing loudly, and was speechless. Just now he was a traitor and evil disciple, but now he is a loving disciple. Good guy, the old man's face is changing faster than turning the pages of a book. Beilong also hurriedly sent Yamamoto Genryusai to the Soul King Palace, accepted the baptism, and cast his own palace before taking him down. Apart from anything else, after being baptized by the Soul King, Yamamoto Genryusai has returned to his peak age. However, what a bad old man he is, he still retains his current appearance. When a blind person is really hit by the old man, the old man will transform back into the young Yamamoto Shigakuni at his peak in minutes. Well, master, there is something I forgot to tell you. Beilong looked at Yamamoto Genryuzai who was in a good mood after the baptism, and said with some embarrassment. Oh, if you have anything else, just tell me quickly. Old man, I'm still busy attending classes at the Spiritual Arts Academy. Yamamoto Genryuzai said impatiently. Well, teacher, you can't just Benkai in Seraiti from now on. Beilong also said embarrassedly. Ah, why, didn't you already reinforce Seraiti once? Didn't you say that you can Benkai as you like? That was before you were promoted. Your current strength is completely beyond the scope of ordinary Shinigami. 
If you had done Soul Society Bankai earlier, you might have directly destroyed Soul Society. What should I do as a teacher? Don't worry, master, after I strengthen Soul Society a few more times, it should be fine. Okay, anyway, we may encounter some opponents now. Yamamoto Genryu Sai no longer hesitated, and took the old people of his first team to the Central Spiritual Arts Academy for retirement. Beilong was left with an almost empty team and fled. Beilong also wants to cry but has no tears. My master is not particular about this. However, Beilong also quickly summoned the members of the 7th Division from the 7th Division to join the first team. Under the leadership of Matsumoto Rengaku, the first team was up and running again. At the same time, Matsumoto Rengaku was also transferred to the position of deputy captain of the first team. Although according to Matsumoto Rengaku's current strength, she can already serve as the captain, but she and Sasaki. Like Chojiro, she wanted to continue to follow Beilong, so Beilong didn't say anything else. Anyway, the team affairs would be handed over to her sooner or later. At the same time, Yoruichi, Yunohana and Kukuru also moved to the first team captain's house. Sui Feng is now a new officer and has to live in the second division for a while. He will naturally move back after a while. From this day on, Gote 13 has also turned a new page. The old Gote 13 under the rule of Yamamoto Genryusai is in the past tense. The current Gote 13 is white. The new force led by Lang. For the current Gote 13, Beilong also made the first request, which is to change the standards for captain and vice captain. Only second class Lingwei can be the captain, and only Lingwei can be the vice captain. Bankai is no longer exclusive to the captain level, now the deputy captain level is also required to master Bankai. This order makes the current Gote 13 a little miserable, but the higher ups gave the order and they had no choice but to carry it out. The captain level is okay. After Beilong's subtle cleaning, now they are basically the second class Lingwei captains, but the deputy captain level is not so good. The entire Gote 13. There are not many vice captains who have reached the third level of spiritual power. Currently, only Division 1 vice captain Matsumoto Rengaku, Division 11 vice captain Kusajishi Yakiru, and Division 13 vice captain Shiba Kayan are qualified. The other divisions, to put it bluntly, are not good enough. Some don't even have a vice captain. Of course, Beilong didn't make them stronger immediately, but gave these captains and vice captains some time. For example, Lao Yinbi Aizen Sosuke, his current Reiatsu is blocked by the third level spirit power. According to Beilong's standards, he can only serve as the deputy captain. Therefore, Aizen has no choice but to release part of his Reiatsu to let his own Reiatsu becomes a second class spiritual power. The same goes for Tusen Konami. It has to be said that Tusen Konami is really a pity. If Beilong came to Soul Society earlier, this true pure loving Torin would definitely become his best subordinate. There is nothing we can do now, Beilong does not have the ability to resurrect Jake Wong, so he can only miss Tusen Konami. At the same time, Yukuya Kuchiki, who had just taken office, met the person he loved most in his life, Kuchiki Heijun, who was the enlarged version of Rukia Kuchiki during his first inspection of Rukongai. Although the two look almost the same, their personalities are completely different. Feijun's personality is the gentle type. Although Beilong doesn't make any comments on her behavior of abandoning Rukia Kuchiki, she is really more suitable for Bukuya Kuchiki. After all, at the beginning, the daughter-in-law that the Kuchiki family favored was actually Shihu and Yoruichi. It was just that Bai was intercepted. Of course, even if Bai didn't show up, Yoruichi still fell in love with Baymax and just regarded him as his younger brother. Later, he ran away to the real world. At the first sight of Kuchiki Heijun, Yukuya Kuchiki had already fallen in love and wanted to marry Heijun home no matter what. The current Yukuya is completely different from the Yukuya in the original work. He alone has the final say in the Kuchiki family, and other people do not even dare to speak against the after all, the current Bukuya Kuchiki, in the true sense yes, the strongest head of the Kuchiki family in history. Of course, Bukuya's so many years were not in vain. He immediately took Kuchiki to see Beilong. The captain of the first team was outside. Master Bukuya, what kind of person is Mr. Beilong? Does he dislike me? Kuchiki asked worriedly. Don't worry, Feijun. Teacher Beilong is a very good person. 
Although he was a bit free and easy when he was young, his personality has become very calm after becoming the captain. Bukuya Kuchiki also quickly comforted the onion beside him. With that said, Rangaku also walked out of the captain's room, looked at the woman next to Bukuya Kuchiki, and said with an ant smile, this must be Hijin. I am Bukuya's senior sister, Matsumoto Rangaku, come in quickly, teachers and senior wives. Waiting for you. After hearing Matsumoto Rangaku's words, Hijin breathed a sigh of relief and followed Bukuya into the captain's room. But as soon as he entered the captain's room, Kuchiki fainted. This shocked Bukuya Kuchiki, and Feijun hugged Kuchiki and said excitedly, Feijun. Feijun, how are you? Why did you faint suddenly? Rangaku said speechlessly, why are you panicking? Mistress Ujihua is inside, why don't you let me take a look? Bukuya finally came to his senses and rushed into the captain's room with Hyjin in his arms. Matsumoto Rangaku shook his head slightly, love can really make people go to their heads. This junior brother of mine is usually so smart and clever, but now he is like a headless fly. Teacher's wife, Mrs. Mao Jawa, please save Feijun. Looking at Bukuya who looked panicked, Beilong was speechless, then why don't you put this child down and let your wife check it out? Bukuya woke up after hearing Beilong's words, and put Kuchiki Hijin on the floor with a worried look. You know Hannah went to check it personally. After a while, Hijin woke up. Seeing Hijin wake up, Bukuya was relieved and asked quickly, Master, teachers and wives, what's going on? Hijin was in good health before, so why did he suddenly faint? Beilong is sitting in the middle, with Yoruichi and Sui Feng on the left, and Yunohana and Kukuku on the right. Before Mao Jihua could say anything, Beilong said angrily, Are you a stupid kid? You have forgotten everything the teacher taught you. Bukuya was stunned, still not quite understanding. What your teacher means is that your Reiatsu is too strong, and this child's Reiatsu is too weak. Even the Reiatsu you have escaped is not something she can bear. You know Hannah explained. Not only that, if this child lives with you for a long time, he will die within a year. As soon as these words came out, Bukuya instantly felt his whole body go numb, and the biting coldness of his thighs attacked his body from the inside out. How could this happen? It's my problem, Bukuya said in a broken voice. It's okay, Lord Bukuya, I'm already very happy to meet you. She was really attracted to Bukuya, and now the young couple looked at each other with tears in their eyes, as if they were parting. Ahem, but there is nothing we can do about this situation. Beilong saw that the young couple was still crying in front of him and stopped holding them in front of him, so he said directly. Great, I knew master, you would definitely have a way. Bukuya Kuchiki said in surprise. You, you, you. Beilong glared at Bukuya Kuchiki, and then he realized that this boy was still a lover, why did he become so smart when he met Kuchiki? Kuchiki Feijun was stunned after hearing Beilong's words. She didn't expect that things would turn around. Let Hyjin stay with your mistress Yunohana for a while. Recently, your mistress Yunohana's soul-cutting sword has undergone a slight change, which is just enough for Hyjin to improve Reiatsu. It may not be able to reach the captain level, but there's nothing wrong with becoming the vice-captain. Beilong didn't hide it and directly gave the solution. I understand, Fei Jen, I still haven't thanked the teacher and my sisters-in-law. Thank you to the teacher, thank you to the teachers and wives. Okay, okay, you two are doing well, it's better than anything else. By the way, on the day you get married, don't forget to please excuse me. Great, Yukuya will definitely come to your door in person and invite the teachers and wives to come over. Seeing the sad couple when they came and the happy faces when they left, Beilong couldn't help but shake his head, good guy, it's time for that little one to marry a wife. However, my eldest apprentice is indeed a bit worried. Now he looks like, women will affect my speed of drawing the sword. He is completely different from the Ichimaru Jin who sacrificed for women in his previous life. At this time, Ichimaru Jin, who was teaching Hisagi Shuahei at the Spiritual Arts Academy, sneezed and thought, huh. Did I catch a cold? I shouldn't. Soon, the wedding of Bukuya and Haijin also officially started. As the head of the Kuchiki family, of course he had to notify the nobles about getting married. Of course, Beilong, who was Bukuya's teacher, attended the wedding in person and became a member of the high hall, while Kuchiki Gingling retired. Instead, Beilong became the last one to be served tea. 
This made Beilong smile from ear to ear. He could be regarded as Bukui's chief father for once. In addition to Beilong and his four wives, other senior brothers such as Ichimaru Jin, Matsumoto Rengaku and Zaraki Kenpachi also attended the wedding. But they were indeed regarded as negative examples, because Beilong began to urge them to get married. On the contrary, Bukuya Kuchiki became a positive case. Beilong used Bukuya Kuchiki as an example to educate several disciples. However, these guys all had their left ear in and right ear out. Beilong was so angry that his blood pressure almost rose. He finally knows how Yamamoto Genryu Sai looked at him back then. Good guy, these guys are really good at making people angry. In this way, Seoul society once again entered a brief period of peace, and three years passed in a flash. A new batch of students will also enter the Spiritual Arts Academy to study. This batch of students includes many vice captains, but Beilong has little interest in them. Regardless of whether it is Hinamori Momo, Kira or Aburai Renji, the top human shields in the three realms, in the end, Dingtian is a second-class spiritual power and cannot touch the edge of first-class spiritual power. Beilong has no interest in teaching them all well. It is enough for Ichimaru Jin to form a good relationship with them. Not to mention, the teaching quality of Ichimaru Jin is really not bad. In just three years, Hisagi Shuahei has been promoted to the fourth level of spiritual power. Before that, he could already hold the position of deputy captain. That's not all. For the sake of his apprentice, Ichimaru Jin did not hesitate to go to Beilong in person and send his young apprentice to the Seoul King's Palace. After all, he is the eldest disciple of Beilong's lineage, so his strength cannot be weak no matter how much he says. You see, Shiba Kayan, Jashiro Yukitaki's only disciple, has broken through to the second level spiritual power in the past two days. This makes Jashiro Yukitaki so happy that he has to go to Yulong to show off. Z. If Ichimaru Jin and the others hadn't stepped into the first-class spirit power, Jashiro Yukitaki would have really succeeded. Moreover, Shiba Kayan is also getting married recently, and he is marrying the third seat of the 13th division. Shiba Du once again asked Beilong to take this opportunity to nag a few of his apprentices zero asterisk 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 asterisk. But these guys are not afraid of boiling water and they don't care about Beilong's urge to get married. Of course, Ichimaru Jin also took a fancy to a student during the freshman assessment. This student is none other than Kuchiki. Although Rukia Kuchiki's Reiatsu is only the eighth level spiritual power, she does have talents that Aburai Renji and others don't have. Ichimaru Jin has followed Beilong for so many years, so he certainly knows what a genius is. The initial Reiatsu level is low, but it doesn't mean that this kid can't become a first class spiritual powerhouse. So even though Rukia entered class 2 instead of class 1, Ichimaru Jin still accepted her as his disciple. Of course, Ichimaru Jin also knew very well that this child was his sister-in-law's lost sister. After all, that onion was hard to find in the entire soul society. At this time, Ichimaru Jin certainly knew that he had accepted his junior brother's sister-in-law as his disciple, but he didn't care about it. How could he? Ichimaru Jin, miss this matter of being Bukuya's elder. However, Ichimaru Jin also learned from Hinamori Momo that she had a younger brother who was even more talented than her. After learning the news, Ichimaru Jin immediately went to Beilong. According to Hinamori Momo's description, her younger brother's talent was even stronger than that of Ichimaru Jin. Well, I already know the matter. If that's the case, then I'll take a trip. Beilong put down the teacup and said, Teacher, do you want to go in person? It seems that we are going to have a junior brother. Ichimaru Jin was also surprised at first, and then smiled. Geniuses have always been his teacher's favorite. Ichimaru Jin knew this and told Beilong the news. However, not only Ichimaru Jin, Yukuya also came to the first team. Teacher, we found Haijin's lost sister. Yukuya Kuchiki walked in anxiously, and was stunned for a moment when he saw his senior brother. After all, his senior brother should be teaching at Spiritual Arts Academy at this time. Then shall I avoid it? Ichimaru Jin felt that even if he was his junior brother, he was not suitable to hear such things. After all, he couldn't say that his sister-in-law did something wrong back in right. No, senior brother, I still need your help with this matter. Ichimaru Jin felt strange, this guy Bukuya would never have called him senior unless he asked him for something. 
Ichimaru Jin became interested instead and sat down. Next I heard it. Master, we found the child. She is now a student of Spiritual Arts Academy, one of this batch of students. Yukuya Kuchiki continued to talk to Beilong. Oh, this is really a coincidence. Beilong also pretended to be surprised. A student from this class. There are not many girls. Let me think about it, it can't be Hinamori Momo. I heard that she was also adopted. How could Ichimaru Jin not know, in fact? This is what he told Beilong, but he still pretended not to understand and wanted to tease Bukuya. It's not Hinamori Momo, it's Rukia. This child looks exactly like Hinamori. He must be Hinamori's lost sister. As soon as Bukuya finished speaking, Ichimaru Jin burst out laughing. It turns out to be Rukia. She is my dear apprentice. Ichimaru Jin's words made Bukuya stunned for a moment, and then he said in surprise, it turns out that my senior brother discovered Rukia. 21. Okay, senior brother, do you have this mentality to accept her as your disciple? Eat me Senban Sakura. After the brothers made a fuss for a while, Beilong asked, now that you have found this child, what are you going to do? Hishin and I thought about it and planned to adopt this child as the adopted daughter of the Kuchiki family, which can be regarded as compensation for the child. As for admitting the matter to Heijun, it depends on the child. My own opinion, Bukuya also said seriously. Beilong nodded. He had no problem with Bukuya's training. If he could say this, Bukuya's three views were still correct. Indeed, now that Feijun is still alive, Beilong doesn't know whether Rukia will recognize this sister who cruelly abandoned her. Feijun has indeed repented, but this kind of repentance cannot make up for Rukia's lack of emotion at all. Suddenly knowing that I have a sister is something that most people cannot accept. However, the matter of the adopted daughter is still settled. After all, it is the Kuchiki family, and it is very easy to accept an adopted daughter. After Beilong heard Bukuya's solution, he also asked Ichimaru Jin to take Bukuya to the Spiritual Arts Academy. He always had to ask Rukia if she was willing. Ah, the Kuchiki family wants to adopt me as their adopted daughter. Teacher, don't you see the joke? Rukia looked at her teacher in disbelief. Ichimaru Jin sat in front of the coffee table and took a sip of tea. Of course I'm not joking. To be precise, it's not the Kuchiki family who wants to take you in. It's the current head of the Kuchiki family, Yukuya Kuchiki, who wants to take you in as an adopted sister. Rukia shook her head and said, this is incredible. Indeed, if it is Rukongai, er, Rukia, she still doesn't understand what the Kuchiki family represents, but Rukia, who has now become a Shinigami preparatory, is different. She now understands very well that the Kuchiki family is one of the four nobles and a behemoth of the Soul Society. For such a family to accept her as their adopted daughter, it is no less outrageous than the world's richest man suddenly coming to your door and telling you that you are his biological son. You don't have to worry about what he has planned for you. Lord Bukuya Kuchiki, he is your teacher and my junior brother. Your teacher and I are half-brothers who grew up playing together. Ichimaru Jin also comforted Rukia. Rukia felt that she could be a disciple of Ichimaru Jin, which was already very strange. Not long after she became a disciple, the Kuchiki family came to her door again. At this moment, Rukia doubted whether she had the aura of a protagonist. Then teacher, what do you think of this matter? Rukia asked. Me, to be honest, I recommended that you agree. This is not because of the resource problem. After all, even the resources for Bukuya Kuchiki's own growth were not provided by the Kuchiki family, but because of another reason. However, now it's not easy for the teacher to tell you, but this reason is very important to you. Ichimaru Jin said with some confusion. It can't be that the head of the Kuchiki family has fallen in love with me and wants to marry me. Rukia made a bold assumption. After hearing this, Ichimaru Jin, who was drinking tea, spat out a mouthful of tea, ahem, cough, cough, why do you think so? Ichimaru Jin said with a speechless expression. But then I thought about it. Rukia and Haijin were cut out of the same mold. If Bukuya Kuchiki met Rukia first, then it really wouldn't be possible. Ichimaru Jin's expression also became weird. Seeing Ichimaru Jin's expression, Rukia was also startled, could it be that I was right? How is that possible? Even if you are willing, your teacher will not agree to it. Ichimaru Jin knocked Rukia's little head angrily. 
It hurt. Rukia rubbed her head and smiled coquettishly. Okay, stop thinking so much and let the real owner talk to you. Come in, Yukuya. Ichimaru Jin was afraid that Rukia would say something shocking again, so he quickly called Bukuya who was waiting outside. Obviously, after hearing the words Bukuya Kuchiki, Rukia became visibly nervous. But as soon as he opened the door, a handsome guy with a paralyzed face walked in. Seeing Bukuya's paralyzed face, Ichimaru Jin couldn't hold himself any longer. PFF, Bukuya, what's your expression? Why are you pretending to be cool? Ichimaru Jin laughed so hard that he almost burst into laughter. This was the first time he knew that his junior brother still had the burden of being an idol. It can be seen that not only Rukia is very nervous, but Bukuya Kuchiki is also very nervous. Seeing that this miniature version of Haijin was exactly the same as Haijin, Bukuya almost couldn't hold back and told the truth on the spot. But it was Ichimaru Jin's words that calmed Bukuya down. After giving Ichimaru Jin a grateful look, Bukuya's face became normal and he said, you must be Rukia. Yes, Lord Bukuya. Rukia was obviously nervous. Ichimaru Jin rubbed Rukia's head and said, don't be so nervous, don't call me Lord Bukuya, call me Uncle Bukuya. Rukia felt the support of her master, and relaxed slightly and said, it's master, I've met Uncle Bukuya. After hearing this title, Bukuya Kuchiki glared at Ichimaru Jin angrily. Especially when he saw the smile on Ichimaru Jin's face, Bukuya Kuchiki became even more angry. Ahem, Rukia, don't be nervous. It doesn't matter even if you don't want to enter our Kuchiki house. Uncle Master is here just to ask for your opinion, Bukuya Kuchiki said in a gentle tone. Rukia became more relaxed. After thinking for a while, she said, Uncle, this matter is not simple. I still have to think about it before making a decision. Bukuya Kuchiki nodded. Originally, he didn't expect that Rukia would decide to enter their Kuchiki house just once. The main reason for coming this time was to leave a good impression in front of Rukia. It's okay, think about it carefully, I really hope to accept you as my adopted sister. Bukuya Kuchiki's eyes were very soft, no different from looking at his own family. Rukia, who has never felt the warmth of her family, also felt the warmth in Bukuya's eyes. Her master was already very good to her, and now a stepbrother came to her door. Rukia couldn't help but sigh at her luck. It has indeed gotten better. After a brief chat, Bukuya Kuchiki also said goodbye and left. He wanted to tell Kuchiki the good news. On the other side, Beilong took Matsumoto Rengaku to Hinamori Momo's home in Rukongai to find Hitsugaya Tashiro. Although in the manga, Hitsugaya Tashiro's strength is not that pervert, the child's potential is still good. Unfortunately, if Shiba Ishin was not plotted by Aizen, then part of the child's potential can definitely be explored again. So Beilong came and wanted to see if he could train this child to be better. Ha, huh, is the bedwetting Momo back? As soon as he arrived outside Hinamori Momo's house, Hitsugaya Tashiro felt someone coming outside the house. Obviously, this child's talent is no problem. Beilong also nodded with satisfaction. Matsumoto Rengaku also opened the door and entered Hitsugaya Tashiro's home. Their home is located in Rukongai District 1, which is the Rukongai area with the best security conditions. The furnishings in the house are still better than those of ordinary families. But after all, Rukongai is definitely incomparable to Seraiti. Seeing the two people walking into the house, Hitsugaya Tashiro was stunned for a moment, are you Shinigami? Are you here to see Momoko? Although the specific identities of Beilong and Matsumoto Rengaku were not known, the huge Reiatsu Hitsugaya Tashiro on their bodies can still be felt. Moreover, because there are no fights in the first district, Hitsugaya Tashiro is still a little immature now and talks about everything outside. But Beilong and Matsumoto Rengaku shook their heads, we are here to find you, Hitsugaya Tashiro. Looking for me, Hitsugaya Tashiro was obviously taken aback. That's right, kid, you shouldn't bury your talent here. How about becoming your teacher? Beilong said with a gentle smile. Thank you sir, but I don't want to be a Shinigami yet. Hitsugaya Tashiro refused without saying a word, which made Matsumoto Rengaku stunned for a moment, boy, do you know who he is in front of you? Before Matsumoto Rengaku could finish speaking, Beilong directly stopped Matsumoto Rengaku. Rengaku's words sounded so much like those of a villain. 
Son, you don't live alone. If you don't want to leave here, you probably don't want to leave your family. Beilong continued. How did you know? Hitsugaya Tashiro visibly panicked, obviously frightened by Beilong's words. Don't worry about how I know it, but kid, you know, your body contains huge reiatsu, and the summoning soul living with you has to bear the reiatsu that you unconsciously radiate. I think the family member you live with never stays with you during the day, right? Hitsugaya Tashiro's expression changed after hearing Beilong's words. If you don't learn to control your reiatsu, your family will gradually become weak. At that time, they may even be killed by the reiatsu you unconsciously emit. My child, think about it, how is your family's physical condition recently? Quote. As soon as these words came out, Hitsugaya Tashiro's face became even uglier. Obviously, he had remembered that his grandma's health was getting worse and worse recently. He thought she was sick before, but he didn't expect that the culprit was himself. At this moment, Hitsugaya Tashiro's grandmother also walked in and coughed twice. Hitsugaya Tashiro quickly stepped forward to support her grandmother. She said in disbelief, Grandma, is what he said true? Hitsugaya Tashiro's grandmother did not speak, but looked at him with kind eyes. At this moment, Hitsugaya Tashiro understood everything. Master Shinigami, I am willing to accept you as my teacher. Hitsugaya Tashiro quickly turned around and said, what he cherishes most is his family, and of course he will not see his family's lives threatened because of him. Beilong nodded, don't worry, kid, I will send someone to take care of your grandma. Hitsugaya Tashiro finally showed a smile, knowing everything about a child like him, knowing that his grandmother could not go to Seraiti with him, and his grandmother could not bear Reiatsu in Rukongai and she would die faster if she entered Seraiti. Master, please bow to Hitsugaya Tashiro. Xiaobai also said very quickly. Beilong also smiled and helped Hitsugaya Tashiro up, Okay, okay, kid, you will be my close disciple from now on. My name is Beilong, and this is your senior sister, Matsumoto Rengaku. You and I still have a bit of face in Seraiti. Yes, don't worry about your grandma's condition. After saying that, Beilong also took Matsumoto Rengaku out of Hitsugaya Tashiro's house first, little junior brother, master and I are waiting for you outside. You can say goodbye to your grandma properly. After saying that, Matsumoto Rangaku also closed the door carefully. Hitsugaya Tashiro and his grandmother in the room also said goodbye well. The little guy packed his luggage and walked out with red eyes. Hitsugaya Tashiro's grandmother also smiled and said, Sir, my grandson will be left to you. Please be more considerate. Beilong also said quickly, don't worry, old man, I will train him well. Although this grandma may not be as old as Beilong in actual age, Yulang still respectfully called her an old man. Beilong and Matsumoto Rangaku also brought Hitsugaya Tashiro back to Seraiti. After all, he is the captain and cannot run around casually. First team, Hitsugaya Tashiro is like Grandma Lu entering the Grand View Garden, everything she sees is very fresh. Hearing that every Shinigami who met Beilong and Matsumoto Rengaku addressed them with great respect, Hitsugaya Tashiro was also curious about the identity of his master. Forgive this kid for not understanding the composition of Seraiti, as long as Rukongai can distinguish between Shinigami and ordinary souls. It's very difficult. As for the status of captain, it is simply a legendary title. But obviously, Hitsugaya Tashiro is still keenly aware that his master's status is definitely very high. Captain's room. Rengaku, go and call your teachers and wives over and let them see this child. Beilong said to Rengaku. Yes, master. Matsumoto Rengaku disappeared in an instant. Hitsugaya Tashiro was still a little cautious when facing Beilong alone. Beilong sat in front of the table and said with a smile, Don't be so formal, kid, come sit down and talk. Hitsugaya Tashiro sat across from Beilong in a dignified manner. Since you worship me as your teacher, I would also like to tell you about the specific situation of our sect. I was appointed as the commander-in-chief of Yamamoto Genryusai after my master's training. Hitsugaya Tashiro was like listening to a book from heaven, with an expression of surprise in his eyes. Soon Mao Zhuo and others also arrived, and Xiaobai also quickly visited the master wives. Well, the four master wives really shocked Xiaobai. Of course, the sweet tongue Xiaobai was quickly praised by the four teachers' wives. 
What, my teacher is actually the current captain of Gotei 13? Hitsugaya Tashiro shouted in disbelief. Hitsugaya Tashiro was also shocked and didn't know what to say after hearing the excellent traditions of his master. That night, Xiaobai couldn't sleep. He never imagined that by casually becoming a disciple, he would rise to the top and become a close disciple of the current captain. Of course, Ichimaru Jin and the others also knew that Beilong had accepted a closed disciple. The next day, all Beilong's disciples returned to the first team. After all, this was Beilong's closed disciple. You know, Beilong was also the closed disciple of Yamamoto Genryu Sai. Of course they are very interested in this junior brother, Ichimaru Jin. Except for Hisagi Shuahei, who was still training hard in the Soul King Palace, the other disciples of Beilong's sect came to the first team one after another. With such a posture, I didn't know that a strong enemy was going to invade the soul. It's over. Dear Master, your favorite disciple is back with your little grandson. Ichimaru Jin's voice arrived first before anyone arrived, still looking like a little fox, followed by a slightly reserved little onion. This is the first time Rukia has met Beilong. Of course, Rukia is very clear about the title of Soul Society's strongest Shinigami, Captain of Gote 13. After all, the first lesson in the textbook they are studying now is the history of Soul Society, which gives a very detailed introduction to the two captains. That's called Wei Guangzhong. Rukia, who hasn't seen Beilong yet, thought Beilong was an old man. But as soon as she entered the captain's room and saw the silver-haired handsome guy, Rukia was stunned for a moment. Good guy, my master looks like his master is still young. At the same time, Hitsugaya Tashiro was also sitting at Beilong's starting point. Oh, this must be my junior brother, Ichimaru Jin said with a smile. Hello, senior brother, I am Hitsugaya Tashiro. You don't have to be so polite. Come on, Rukia, I've met your little uncle. Hello, uncle, I am Kia. Hello, nephew. Rukia is also sizing up this little junior uncle. This junior junior uncle looks like he is not much older than her. He may not even be older than her. Beilong also introduced, this is your senior brother Ichimaru Jin. He is currently working as a teacher at the Spiritual Arts Academy. Soon he will be transferred to the third division as the captain. Oh, teacher, I think being a teacher is really good. I really don't want to be the captain. Ichimaru Jin cried quickly. It's obvious that this guy doesn't want to go to work at all. Beilong glared at Ichimaru Jin, if you don't go, who will? The position of captain of the third division has been vacant for you for almost 50 years. You didn't have enough qualifications before, but you don't want to go now because your teacher's knife is not sharp enough. It's over. Ichimaru Jin looked at Beilong and was stunned. He quickly said, go, go, I'll go as soon as I finish teaching these students. As soon as he said this, Beilong nodded and his expression became satisfied. Ha 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 ha, I heard that we have a junior brother. I wonder if we can fight him. Just after finishing Ichimaru Jin's question, a rough voice rang out. Xiao Jian, don't do it directly. Otherwise we will be scolded again. I know Bachin Liu, you are so verbose. The door opened, and a strong man two meters tall walked in, with a little girl with pink hair lying on his shoulders. Let me see who is my junior brother. This strong man made no secret of his powerful Reiatsu. Rukia felt like she was going to be suffocated by this strong Reiatsu. Okay, Zaraki, don't scare me again. Another voice sounded, and Bukuya Kuchiki also walked in with Kuchiki Hijin. Ha 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 ha, Bukuya, I haven't seen you for a long time, do you want to have a fight? Kenpachi smiled even happier. Fight, fight, fight. Is this what the teacher taught you? Matsumoto Rengaku also arrived. Seeing that everyone was here, Beilong also coughed and said, Okay, stop arguing, everyone should take their seats first. Zaraki Kenpachi and Bukuya Kuchiki also sat down with their own girls. Kuchiki Heijun saw Rukia who was exactly the same as her at a glance. If he hadn't already known about her existence, he would have cried. Of course, Rukia also saw the existence of Kuchiki Heijun, and her heart was shocked. She instantly understood why the Kuchiki family wanted to take her into safety. Okay, I've called you here today to let you get to know each other. This is my new disciple, Hitsugaya Tashiro, who is also your junior brother. By the way, I'm calling you here to get together. 
You haven't been together for several years. Have you seen this old man like me? After hearing Balong's words, all the disciples also watched with their noses and noses, and no one dared to speak. Teacher, aren't we all busy? As soon as we have time, we will come to see you. Only Ichimaru Jin dared to say this. Balong shook his head speechlessly. When he asked them to move out, they were all very reluctant. But now they are fine. We haven't come back to have dinner together for several years. It makes Balong look like a lonely old man. Oh, he still has four wives, so that's okay. Everyone present, except for the full-time wife Kuchiki Heijun, the worst others are also vice captains. Indeed, they all have high positions of authority. Anyway, Hitsugaya Tashiro and Rukia were shocked, their sect was so powerful. Okay, Lang, the children are busy too. Mao Zhuo also arrived with the other three ladies, and the disciples also quickly said hello to each master's wife. After Beilong listened to Mao Zihua's persuasion, he was no longer angry, and everyone had a relatively satisfactory reunion dinner. Hisagi Shuahe. Happiness belongs to them. I am the chief disciple of the fourth generation. After the meal, Feijun, who had long been unable to bear the spar and the discussion, finally got the opportunity to spend some time alone with Rukia. Everyone also knew the relationship between the two and gave them enough space. Rukia, are you Rukia? Feijun looked at Rukia in disbelief, fearing that the little onion in front of her would disappear. Rukia obviously knew that the young woman in front of her looked so similar to her, so she must be related to her, so she asked with some trembling, Madam, is there any relationship between us? Hearing Rukia's words, Kuchiki Heijun couldn't bear it anymore and held Rukia in his arms with tears. At that moment, Rukia was stunned. Looking at Kuchiki Heijun who was in tears, for some reason, Rukia felt that she my heart began to hurt, and tears flowed down unconsciously. Rukia, I'm sorry for you. I'm your sister. Kuchiki hugged Rukia and told her everything about that year. Obviously, after hearing what happened that year, Rukia was completely stupid. She did not expect that her sister would abandon her. She did not know how to face her sister. I could only force myself to calm down and said, Mrs. Feijun, please calm down first. Hearing Rukia's name, Feijun was also shocked, but she also understood what Rukia meant. After all, a sister suddenly appeared and said she was her sister and abandoned her. It was normal for her to be unable to accept it for a while. I know, Rukia, this matter is very unacceptable to you, but my sister really wants to make it up to you. Everything is my sister's fault. If you don't want to, sister cannot see you. She said with a smile in her eyes. Tears said. I know, I will think about it carefully. Thank you for telling me this, Mrs. Feijun. Rukia forced herself not to be emotional and said calmly. Feijun didn't know what to say, so she could only leave first. After Kuchiki left, Rukia burst into tears until a big hand touched her head and said, cry, just cry. Rukia knew it was her master, so she jumped directly into Ichimaru Jin's arms, hugged Ichimaru Jin and cried loudly. After a while, her mood stabilized. Then what are you going to do? Ichimaru Jin said gently. I don't know, I really don't know what to do. My rationality tells me that I shouldn't recognize her, but deep down in my heart, she is my sister, and this is a fact that cannot be changed. Rukia very confused inside. Ichimaru Jin rubbed her head, wiped away her tears and said, Master can only tell you, just follow your heart. If you want to recognize this sister, then recognize this sister. If you don't want to recognize this sister, it doesn't matter. You are now if you have the confidence to deny them, no matter what choice you make, Master will support you. When Rukia heard Ichimaru Jin's words, her heart warmed and she was obviously inspired. On the other side, Zaraki Kenpachi and the others were teasing Hitsugaya Tashiro. After finally meeting their junior brother, they must have a good time. After all, the three of Ichimaru Jin grew up together, and Zaraki Kenpachi was already a young man when he became a disciple. For a young man like Hitsugaya Tashiro, that was the most fun time. Hitsugaya Tashiro also didn't expect that all his senior brothers and sisters were captain level, so he was really teased by these old fritters. Beilong saw this and smiled very happily in his heart. That's the only good thing about their faction. They don't fight among themselves. This kind of thing between brothers and sisters is his favorite. 
In the 8th division in the distance, an undercover agent sneezed hard and muttered, it must be my junior brother who is saying bad things about me behind my back again. Of course, Rukia was not let off by them, and she was also asked questions. Of course, the nephew could not tease her like the junior brother, but they did not leave the little girl idle. But at this time, Rukia was still thinking about Fei Jen, so she just barely dealt with them. From this day on, Hitsugaya Toshiro also officially started his Shinigami practice. As a closed disciple, not only Beilong and his four wives are teaching Hitsugaya Toshiro, but also several of his senior brothers and sisters will certainly not let this little junior brother go. Hitsugaya Toshiro is called the all-round development of moral, intellectual, physical, artistic and laboring skills. Everyone began to temper Hitsugaya Toshiro to varying degrees from all levels. However, Hitsugaya Toshiro is indeed a genius. No matter what he learns, he is extremely fast. In just three years, he has almost mastered the four skills of Zan Fist and Zan Gui. Of course, hockey's training has not fallen behind either. It can be said that it's completely different from three years ago. In the past three years, Rukia has been officially adopted as an adopted daughter by the Kuchiki family. In any case, the sisterhood between Rukia and Feijun will never be broken. Feijun's meticulous care of Rukia in the past three years has also made Rukia feel the warmth of home. Finally, in order to spend more time with my sister, I finally entered the Kuchiki house. Of course, Ichimaru Jin used this incident to tease Bukuya Kuchiki. After all, Bukuya would be one generation below him. It was impossible for Ichimaru Jin to let Bukuya Kuchiki go, and of course he made a series of ridicules to him. But Bukuya is not a vegetarian, and he insists on using Ichimaru Jin as the same seniority as the teacher to target him. These two senior brothers, Li Nuo is good, are like living treasures. Of course, after retrieving her sister, Feijun also transformed into a juicer girl and squeezed Bukuya Kuchiki hard. As a result, Beilong found that Bukuya's face had become increasingly pale recently. He looked like he was overindulging, which made Beilong speechless for a while. His four wives came together, but none of them ended up like Bukuya, so he simply taught him how to do it, and finally made Bukuya surrender. Really, revitalize men's glory. Spiritual Arts Academy. Teacher, tomorrow is the actual combat simulation in the real world. Why don't you go to bed early? Rukia, who has been renamed Rukia Kuchiki, asked her master. Don't worry, don't worry. Tomorrow, there will be sixth grade students who will take you to do actual combat simulations. Ichimaru Jin said nonchalantly. After all, for so many years, I have never heard of any problems in actual combat simulations, so Ichimaru Jin really doesn't care about it. Anyway, as the eldest daughter of the Kuchiki family, Rukia Kuchiki would not be able to participate in this drill. Ichimaru Jin doesn't think that this kind of drill will be of any help to Rukia's progress. After all, Rukia has taken a lot of practical lessons from these masters. However, Rukia is worried about her friends, Hinamori Momo, Aburai Renji and Kira Iziru, who are participating in the training this time. Although the talents of these three people are not bad, Ichimaru Jin did not accept them as disciples because these three people did not meet Ichimaru Jin's standards. Even though Rukia was not good at Reiatsu before, now Rukia is already a fourth-class spirit power. The Kuchiki family has spent all the resources that were not used on Bukuya on her. Coupled with the resources of Ichimaru Jin, it can be said that Rukia has made great progress. However, Rukia saw that Ichimaru Jin didn't care, and knew that there would be no problems with this kind of simulation training, so she didn't say anything. The reason why Ichimaru Jin doesn't care is that even if there is a problem, he can be there as soon as possible and will never let any accidents happen to the students. The 12th division is Beilong's direct unit, and they don't dare to cause problems in this kind of thing. Of course, on the other side, Aizen has been silent for such a long time and is about to start causing trouble again. As the captain of the fifth team, Aizen is the only captain who likes to come to Spiritual Arts Academy for classes. Although he does not teach the fourth gate course of Zhengquan Zuki, he still wins many hearts because of his gentle personality and handsome appearance. The Hearts of Students of course, the reason why the effect is not as good as in the original work is not because of the existence of Ichimaru Jin. 
As the current captain's eldest apprentice and beloved disciple, Ichimaru Jin has many fans, and the current Ichimaru Jin is not like the cold lion majesty in the original work. Now Ichimaru Jin is more like a fox. Many female students prostrate themselves under Ichimaru Jin's Shinigami pants. Coupled with his strong strength and careful teaching methods, there are many male students who are fans of Ichimaru Jin. For example, Kira Iziru is a die-hard fan of Ichimaru Jin. Although Ichimaru Jin did not accept him as his disciple, this kid often consulted Ichimaru Jin. Of course, the one who works harder is Aburai Renji. As Rukia Kuchiki's childhood sweetheart, Aburai Renji is really working hard to practice. The current Rukia Kuchiki is no longer in the same world as him. She is now the eldest lady of the Kuchiki family, the disciple of the captain's eldest disciple Ichimaru Jin, and the biological sister of the wife of the head of the Kuchiki family. To put it bluntly, even if Rukia he didn't show anything, and Aburai Renji himself began to feel inferior. In order to change all this, this kid is really training like crazy, but compared with Rukia Kuchiki, who has the guidance of a famous teacher and enjoys dual resources, the progress is still a little too slow. Especially Rukia Kuchiki and Hitsugaya Tashiro, who were like childhood sweethearts who trained together, made Aburai Renji even more uncomfortable. However, these two people really have no further relationship. The next day, Spiritual Arts Academy's current training team, 207, set off. Great, we are finally going to start actual combat training. I have been waiting for this day for a long time. Aburai Renji said excitedly. Renji, don't be so excited. As third graders, we still have to be careful. Hira Iziru said to her friend. Yes, Renji, I heard from Xiaobai that actual combat training is not that simple. Hinamori Momo, the number one human shield in the Three Realms, also warned Renji. Renji was speechless for a while. Hitsugaya Tashiro is the disciple of the captain. He is training with us in actual combat. Does that mean the same thing? Aburai Renji knows how powerful Rukia Kuchiki's current Reiatsu is. There is a huge gap between him and the current Rukia Kuchiki. The current Aburai Renji, that is, the strength of the high-ranking officer, is even a sixth-class spirit. Way, there is no comparison with Rukia Kuchiki. Originally, according to the original work, the sixth grader who led the team this time should be Hisagi Shuahei's team, but who said that Hisagi Shuahei is currently studying in Seoul King Palace and has no time to participate in this actual combat training. Therefore, there is no other way, Aburai Renji and the others can only participate in this practical training with the unknown 6th grader. You are 3rd graders, and it is your first time to participate in actual combat training, so you are not required to fight against simulated virtual beings. You only need to find souls in a fixed area to perform soul burial. Of course, the so-called soul is only simulated by the Science and Technology Development Bureau. Quote, the exam lasts for three days in total. The team with the most souls will win the first place in this actual combat training. As a teacher, Ichimaru Jin also explained the specific content of this exam. All the third graders were eager to get ready and couldn't wait. Ichimaru Jin opened the portal, and the sixth graders took the second graders to the present world. At this time, Ichimaru Jin still didn't know that there would be some twists and turns in this exam. At the same time, Aizen Sosuke, who was monitoring all this, also said to Tusen Konami next to him, go and give them some fun. It's just a good time to gain the favor of these students. Tusen Konami nodded and said, yes, Aizen Sama. Then Shunpo left, and Aizen Sosuke looked at the screen in front of him and his glasses began to reflect, crossed his hands and said, I hope you can give me a little pleasure. Ever since Aizen saw how Beilong mastered Soul Society, Aizen has begun to cultivate talents. He found that sometimes, it is not enough for a person to be strong. You still need someone to be strong behind him. Now, two days later, Aburai Renji is running like crazy with the injured Kira Iziru and Hinamori Momo. How could a real Mano's Grande appear in actual combat training? Aburai Renji cursed while carrying the two of them. At this time, Kira Iziru had a large gash on the left side of her body. Although Hinamori Momo was not physically injured, she fainted due to excessive use of spiritual power. Behind them, the spider-like Manos Grande is chasing them. Looking at the strength of this Manos Grande, it has faintly surpassed Jillian's strength and is about to evolve into a Juka's. Roar, however, 
This Manos Grande is not conscious. After all, it has not successfully evolved yet and has temporarily lost itself. At the same time, the Bureau of Science and Technology Development finally sounded the alarm. Alert, alert, Spiritual Arts Academy students participating in this real-life assessment are being pursued by Manos Grande. Khan, who was already the third member of the 12th Division, quickly reported to Kuritsuchi Mayuri. How is it possible? How did Manos Grande break through the barrier I set? This is unrealistic. Kuritsuchi Mayuri is very confident in his technology. When something like this happens, Kuritsuchi Mayuri's first reaction is not to believe it, but it has indeed happened. Happened. Kuritsuchi Mayuri quickly contacted the fifth team and the teacher of the Spiritual Arts Academy, Ichimaru Jin. I understand, Captain Nirvana, I will immediately bring people to support. Aizen said seriously after receiving the notice from Kuritsuchi Mayuri. After Ichimaru Jin learned the news, he rushed to the scene using the boundary gate specially given by his master. How could such a thing happen? Ichimaru Jin cursed secretly. This is the first time in so many years that a student of the Spiritual Arts Academy has been attacked by Manos Grande in actual combat. Ichimaru Jin's feet are faster. No matter how strong other people are, they are all his students after all. Before the 5th Division team had finished gathering, Ichimaru Jin had already rushed to the scene immediately. Hey, is anyone there? Is he still alive? The teacher is here, Ichimaru Jin shouted directly after entering the actual combat area. Not only does he hope to find his own students, but he also hopes to attract the Manos Grande who came to attack. Ichimaru Sensei, is it Ichimaru Sensei? After Ichimaru Jin shouted, an injured male student who was hiding said in surprise, holding his injured arm. Ichimaru Jin's face darkened, and a shunpo quickly came to the student's side. While using Kaido to heal his injuries, he asked, Are you alone, Tadashi? Where are the others? No, teacher, most of us are hiding. Now Aburai classmate is leading his team to attract Manos Grande's attention, AGAB. Now that Manos Grande is still chasing Aburai and the others, the male student said excitedly. The teacher understands, don't worry, the teacher will go to save them right away. You have to hide yourself. Ichimaru Jin learned Kaido from Yunohana, and of course he easily cured the student. Then according to the direction pointed by the student, use Shunpo as fast as possible. Haven't Soul Society discovered that our side is being attacked? Science and Technology Development Bureau. Aburai Renji continued to run away while cursing. He didn't dare to stop. As long as he stopped, he would definitely be behind him. Manos Grande torn to pieces. However, he had been running for almost half a day from the beginning, and his physical and mental strength had reached the critical point. When he ran away, his feet were empty, and his body leaned forward involuntarily, oops. I have no strength. Aburai Renji was very anxious, but he still fell to the ground without any suspense. As for the sixth graders, they were torn to pieces by this virtual creature right away. Hira Iziru and Hinamori Momo were also thrown to the ground by Aburai Renji. They both groaned and woke up. Looking at Maino's Grande in front of her, Kira Iziru said weakly, Aburai, run. Just don't forget to avenge us. Yes, Aburai, run. Hinamori Momo said the same thing. Before Aburai Renji could reply, Maino's Grande had already rushed in front of them. For a moment, the hearts of the three of them went cold. Kira, Hinamori, I'm sorry, I'm going to break my promise. Aburai Renji closed his eyes and prepared to face death. But at this moment, a familiar voice sounded, shoot him, Shinso. This time the voice was full of murderous intent. Just for a moment, a white light flashed, and the arrogant Manos Grande in front of Aburai Renji and the others was split into two halves in an instant. It evaporated directly in front of them. This voice is, Teacher Ichimaru Jin. Hinamori Momo, who was attentive, heard the voice of the person for the first time and said in surprise. At the same time, Ichimaru Jin appeared in front of the three of them, put Kira Iziru and Hinamori Momo together and used Kaido to treat them, and said gently, are you three okay? No other injuries. When Aburai Renji saw Ichimaru Jin arriving, the string in his heart instantly broke, and he fainted without saying a word with a smile. Kira Iziru and Hinamori Momo looked at Ichimaru Jin with stars in their eyes. Obviously. Hinamori Momo has been captured by Ichimaru Jin. 
The three of us are fine, just the three seniors in the sixth grade. Hira Iziru couldn't bear it when talking about the sixth graders. Ichimaru Jin was silent for a while and then said, they are all good children. Apart from this one, there are no other hollows, right? Although Ichimaru Jin has already used Reiatsu to detect it, he still has to ask. Hinamori Momo said with a smile, there is nothing else, thank you Mr. Ichimaru Jin for coming to save us. Unexpectedly, Ichimaru Jin sighed and said, it would be great if I followed you. Even if there is a void, I can deal with it as soon as possible. No, this is not your fault, Mr. Ichimaru, no one would have thought that such a thing would happen. Hinamori Momo saw Ichimaru Jin frowning and quickly comforted him. But Ichimaru Jin didn't get any comfort. After all, Rukia had asked him once before, and he didn't expect that something really went wrong. Fortunately, except for the three sixth graders, the other students were not seriously injured. After being healed by his kaido, they were soon alive and kicking. Ichimaru Jin also asked Aburai Renji and the other three to gather other students and take them back directly. When the students were almost assembled, Aizen arrived belatedly with his people. He didn't expect that Ichimaru Jin had already finished all the work in just three seats. Oh my god, Captain Aizen came really fast, Ichimaru Jin said in a very unhappy tone. Now Ichimaru Jin's identity is comparable to that of Beilong back then. It is clear that Gotei Ju, as the prince of the third team, of course he would not look down upon a captain like Aizen who was not his master's direct lineage and had made mistakes. Sorry, Mr. Ichimaru Jin, I rushed here as soon as possible. After all, we still have to make a report before we can take action, but this is indeed not the reason why we are late. I, Aizen, as the fifth team captain, I apologize to everyone. After saying that, Aizen bowed deeply. A hint of sarcasm flashed across the corner of Ichimaru Jin's mouth. What are you doing? Now that it's over, you remember to apologize. But Aizen's actions really moved the students of Spiritual Arts Academy so much that the captain personally apologized. In an instant, Aizen harvested the goodwill of these students, of course, excluding the three Aburai Renji. These three were saved by Ichimaru Jin personally, and now they are looking at Ichimaru. Silver is the color of longing. Especially Hinamori Momo, the best human shield in the three worlds. If Beilong knew all this, I wonder if he would be dumbfounded. But anyway, the plot has made him messed up from the beginning. Beilong probably doesn't care about these things. Ichimaru Jin also led his students back to Soul Society with dissatisfaction with Aizen. Aizen's plan succeeded, but it was not completely successful. At least, Ichimaru Jin still won. There are three people, Aburai Renji, and these three people are already the most important. The first team captain's room. Matsumoto Rangaku also reported the attack on Spiritual Arts Academy to Beilong. After Beilong heard the details of this incident, he was slightly surprised. He didn't expect that Ichimaru Jin really disrupted Aizen's plan. Beilong couldn't help but sigh, these two people are simply born to be at odds with each other. Both of them have gained something this time, but of course Ichimaru Jin's gain is greater. Beilong also looked at Hinamori Momo's report with a bit of laughter and tears. It simply praised Ichimaru Jin to the highest level. Matsumoto Rangaku gave Hinamori Momo a thumbs up, ahem, after all, she and Folsom basically have the same idea. Okay. Now that this matter has been controlled to the smallest extent, that's good. I will find the captain of the 12th division, Kuritsuchi Mayuri, 10% of the research funds for a quarter, and the 5th division Captain Aizen, half a month's salary. In addition, I will reward Ichimaru Jin with one month's salary, and ask him to come to me tomorrow, and finally comfort the frightened students, so as not to leave any psychological shadow on them. Beilong also finished the reward and punishment after three strikes, five divided by two. Matsumoto Rangaku nodded and followed Beilong's instructions. The next day, Ichimaru Jin came to the first team captain's room. Teacher, what do you want from me? Ichimaru Jin also asked curiously. Ahem, it's nothing important. I just want to ask when you will join the home team. Yunami wouldn't say that he was curious about how Ichimaru Jin and Hinamori Momo got together. This time, Ichimaru Jin rarely meant to shirk, but said, when I bring Aburai to graduation, I will serve as the captain. Beilong nodded and continued, 
Also, go back and advise your master. This time, your master is so angry that he is going to draw a knife and go to Hueco Mundo for a spin. He is so old, don't let him be so reckless. Bailong is also speechless. After his master retired, he was like an old kid, thinking about Hueco Mundo and his designs. If Yamamoto Genryusai really wanted to go around, his espada would have to be chopped off. All bare. Ichimaru Jin was also sweating profusely and said awkwardly, then let me try it. Oh leave this matter to you. Your master loves you the most. He will only listen to what you say. Bo Lang also gave the order to die. Maybe they are relatives from another generation. Anyway, Yamamoto Genryusai likes each of these disciples very much, especially the ones who were raised since childhood. Basically, every one of them has trimmed Yamamoto Genryusai's beard, which makes Beilong brave. The tall old man was frightened and angry. As a result, the old man's smiling face looked like a blooming flower. Only then did Beilong understand that feelings are treated differently. If he dared to touch the old man's beard, he would definitely be chopped off by Ryujin Jaka. After chatting for a while, Beilong also asked Ichimaru Jin to go back. After all, he still didn't have the nerve to ask Hinamori Momo about it. After all, the Spiritual Arts Academy now knows that Hinamori Momo follows Ichimaru Jin every day, doing laundry, cooking, cleaning the house, etc., and usually follows Ichimaru Jin with a smile. She was dressed like a hostess. Even the way she looked at Rukia Kuchiki was like a mother looking at her daughter, which made Rukia Kuchiki look confused. I treat you as my best friend, but you want to be my mistress. Ichimaru Jin didn't know what to say, it seemed like he saved the wrong person last time. After this incident, Aizen also stopped doing nothing for a while. Soon, Aburai Renji and his friends will graduate this year. Renji, which team are you going to? Hira Iziru looked at her friend and asked. Of course I will go to the third team. My life was saved by Ichimaru-sensei. Since Ichimaru-sensei is going to be the captain of the third team, then I must go to the main team. Aburai Renji blurted out, What about you, Hinamori? Oh, it's in vain for me to ask you, you must be going to the third team too. Hira Iziru found that he seemed to have asked a stupid question. After all, in the past three years, Hinamori Momo almost changed her name to Ichimaru Momo. Although Ichimaru Jin didn't agree, she didn't refuse either, right? The two of them maintained this strange tacit understanding and got along like this. After all, Ichimaru Jin is also pure and single now, and no one says anything, mainly just general gossip. Hinamori Momo doesn't care at all, and will not be maliciously slandered by other female students' words. And after learning that Ichimaru Jin likes the powerful female Shinigami, Hinamori Momo has been practicing hard for the past three years, just to make Ichimaru Jin look at her. Even if Beilong knows about this, I have to say that the love brain is really scary. This is not an ordinary love brain. This is a gifted love brain. Just tell me whether you are afraid of it or not. What Ichimaru Jin only cares about now is the master-disciple relationship between the two. After all, not everyone is as quick as Beilong to marry his kendo teacher into his family. Beilong couldn't help but sigh, Ichimaru Jin is really a good girl. The original Matsumoto Rengaku is gone, but there is another love brain. There is really no one left. That is to say, Hitsugaya Toshiro has a headache. Good guy, his sister is going to marry his senior brother, and his sister is still a student taught by his senior brother. It's so confusing. Byakuya Kuchiki was very happy and laughed at Ichimaru Jin a lot when he was drinking with him, but he also hoped that his senior brother could cherish this girl who likes him. After all, Beilong's apprentices are quite outrageous in terms of emotions. Ichimaru Jin, Master Disciple Love, Matsumoto Rangaku, Thinking About Master and Rebel Disciple Every Day, Yukuya Kuchiki, Onion Lover, Zaraki Kenpachi, Japanese Sword Lover, and currently Hitsugaya Toshiro has nothing to do with relationships. This made Beilong very happy, but when Hitsugaya Toshiro showed his XP later, Beilong also sighed, what happened to his group? Why is the XP system weirder than the other? After Aburai Renji graduated, Ichimaru Jin finally entered Gote 13 as the captain of the third team. Of course, not only him, Beilong also recruited Komamura Sajin from the dog as the captain of the seventh team. Well, 
In other words, in fact, Komamura Sajin is the puppy raised by Baylong, but Baylong never discovered that this puppy actually belongs to the adult family. In terms of loyalty, it is absolutely guaranteed. A dog you raise by yourself will only know one owner in his life. Since then, Baylong's Gote 13 has almost been filled up. When Aburai Renji and others grow up, they will even have the deputy captain. Soon, another 10 years passed. Aburai Renji, Kira Iziru and Hinamori Momo who entered the third team were promoted quickly and are now in the third, fourth and fifth seats. However, recently, Aburai Renji was transferred to the 11th team and Kira Iziru was transferred to the fifth team. Of course, they are all promoted, because there is no doubt that the vice captain of the third team must be Hinamori Momo. Sometimes even Aburai Renji and Kira Iziru, who are Hinamori Momo's absolute friends, feel that Hinamori Momo looks more and more like him. The captain's wife. In addition to the personnel changes in the third team, Shiba Kayan, the vice captain of the 13th team, also got married, marrying Shiba Miyako, the third seed of the same team. At the same time, Rukia Kuchiki also broke through to the third class spirit power and successfully entered the army. With a wave of his hand, Yukuya Kuchiki arranged for his sister in law and foster sister to go to the 13th division. The 13th division is a living station team, and 99.999% of the time, there will be no great danger. According to Rukia Kuchiki's current strength, it is completely enough. I have to say that Yukuya Kuchiki really has good intentions. Ichimaru Jin didn't refuse, he just asked Shiba Kayan to take care of Rukia Kuchiki. After all, he was also his apprentice, so he couldn't just ignore it. Of course, Aburai Renji, Kira Iziru, Hinamori Momo and Rukia Kuchiki also got together. Although this is the first time for Rukia Kuchiki to attend their party, Rukia Kuchiki is familiar with Hinamori Momo. Basically, when Ichimaru Jin teaches Rukia, Hinamori Momo is present, and most of the time she will learn with him, and now she can do it right away. Became the deputy captain of the third division. The relationship between the two girls is getting better and better, but this relationship seems a bit weird to Rukia. It's still the same problem. She always feels that Hinamori Momo's feelings for her are like a mother to her daughter. Or to be more precise, master versus apprentice. Aburai Renji had dinner with Rukia Kuchiki for the first time after he adopted his adopted daughter from the Kuchiki family. Decades passed, and their identities had changed. As a result, Aburai Renji didn't know what to say to Rukia Kuchiki. To use a sentence called Mr. Lu Shuen if so, there is already a sadly thick barrier between the two of them. It was Aburai Renji's own mental barrier that made the atmosphere between the two awkward. Fortunately, Hinamori Momo and Kira Iziru joked in the middle, making the atmosphere normal. These things between the two of them gave a certain Huang Mao some room to intervene. In addition to these changes, Beilong's close disciple Hitsugaya Tashiro has also entered the 10th division as the deputy captain. After all, Matsumoto Rengaku is now the deputy captain of the first team, and Shiba can only deal with these team affairs by himself. This kid has run to Beilong countless times to cry for help. This time, he sent Hitsugaya Tashiro there, which can be regarded as a gift to Shiba. Reducing stress. Of course Shiba Ishin was overjoyed and began to squeeze Hitsugaya Tashiro. However, what Shiba Ishin didn't know was that the gifts of fate had already been marked with a price. He just didn't know whether Shiba Ishin would do it in the future. Regrets his current oppression of Hitsugaya Tashiro. But maybe Shiba doesn't care about this kind of thing, ah, probably. Of course, not only that, Beilong has not stopped over the years. Although Aizen has not reached out to Haweko Mundo yet, Beilong has indeed reached out to Haweko Mundo a long time ago. Beilong brought Jijijiba back from the Lingwang Palace, and turned Jijijiba into his loyal servant with the magic hand of Amazing Hanzi. Beilong didn't use his for its power, but put it back into Haweko Mundo. Beilong wanted to control the entire Haweko Mundo through Jijijiba. After all, Beilong doesn't want to be like Kurosaki Ichigo, mastering multiple powers and becoming the backup of the Spirit King. Although the current Beilong has far exceeded the strength of ordinary Shinigami, he has not mastered the power of Quincy, hollow and full-bringing technique. It is impossible for Beilong to become the Spirit King now. In other words, even Beilong's ten sacred blades are more likely to become the Spirit King than Beilong. Anyway, 
it is just a tool to stabilize the three realms. The ten sacred blades said, I am familiar with this job. I have done this job several times. Beilong is always on guard against the old Yinbi, the Soul King. Guys like Aikibe Hayasub are just the Soul King's pawns. In other words, the Soul King deliberately let you watch devour him, and Aikibe Hayasub may not really be able to defeat you watch. Of course, the current Aikibe Hayasub is as obedient as a baby in front of Beilong. Whether it is the Spirit King's silver medal or the Ten Sacred Blades, Aikibe Hayasub has complete restraint. This Yamato still knows what to do and what not to do. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been helping Beilong train his younger generation. However, it is true that the resources of the Lingwang Palace are in vain if they are not used. If those in the squad want to improve their strength, they must improve it in units of 10,000 years. That's why Aikibe Hayasub and Namaya O are so much stronger than others. Now Jijiba has returned to Hawaiko Mundo to rule the entire Hawaiko Mundo. Including Baragan, Lilanite, Haribel, Wulkiora and other Vasto Lord Manos Grande, they all fell under the command of Jijiba. Of course, there is Hawaiko Mundo's Kuritsuchi Mayuri, and Zael Aporo is the same, but now Zael Aporo has split himself, been demoted from Vasto Lord, and is already very angry. Sijiba almost ate Zael Aporo. Beilong has prepared a big gift for Aizen. These potential virtual beings are the ones he plans to let Aizen Arankar for him. Of course, it is not only prepared for him, but also prepared for the final boss, you watch. Well, there are many Vasto Lord level Arankars, enough for those Quincy to drink from a pot. To the Quincy, hollow is like poison. Just a little bit of hollow's power can completely corrode the Quincy's power. Beilong is now eager for Aizen to quickly evolve Espada. These are all his resources and subordinates. However, the big news in Beilong recently is that Hisagi Shuahei is coming back from Soul King Palace. As the senior disciple of the fourth generation, Hisagi Shuahei also benefited a lot from the Spirit King Palace. Hisagi Shuahei did not practice as long as Ichimaru Jin and Bukuya Kuchiki. Of course, this is also because he did not improve his spiritual power to the first level like Ichimaru Jin and Bukuya. Hisagi Shuahei only raised Reiatsu to the second level spiritual power and then stopped. After all, his Benkai's second level spiritual power was enough. Aikibe Hayasub is also very helpless. As for Beilong's disciples and disciples, everyone's Benkai, which is the real name of the Soul Cutting Sword, is very strange to him. There are those who have two abilities, one light and one dark, there are those who can unite everything into one, there are those who are even afraid of him, and now there is another one who ignores Reiatsu. Good guy, it directly overturns Shinigami's combat logic. Others use one set of logic, but Hisagi Shuahei uses another set of logic. I really need to give Aikibe Hayasub some treatment, because even Aikibe Hayasub cannot be immune to Hisagi Shuahei's ability. If you are not careful, you will really get tricked. Relatively speaking, Aikibe Hayasub still likes a straightforward Benkai like Zaraki Kenpachi. At least he won't have any weird abilities, right? Seniors, thank you for your careful guidance, then I will go back to Soul Society. Hisagi Shuahei said very politely. Unlike Hisagi Shuahei who was afraid of his own soul zanding sword in the original work, Hisagi Shuahei, who was educated by Ichimaru Jin, understood that the soul zanding sword was his own power, his comrade in arms, and the only existence he could trust unconditionally. Therefore, the relationship between Hisagi Shuahei and Feng Shi is not as bad as in the original work, but is actually pretty good. Little Shubing, you must come and play with often. Hekafuna Kiryu regained his obese appearance and his eyes were squeezed. Hisagi Shuahei nodded with a cold sweat on his face and said, I understand, Hikafuna Senpei, I will try my best to come back to see everyone. What a pity, I still want to take you to drive in part. Wang Yu of Ermewu said helplessly. There was more cold sweat on Hisagi Shuahei's forehead, and he quickly said no. Aikibe Hayasub finally said, Shuhei, when you go back, tell your master that I sense that the evil power is slowly reviving. Let's he pays more attention. Hisagi Shuahei nodded. Knowing that this was a serious matter, I understand, Hayasub Senpei, I will tell master. Then, I'm leaving. With that said, Hisagi Shuahei walked into Tianju land. Come and play often, Shira Maru Senju Maru also said. Soon, Hisagi Shuahei returned to Seoul Society on the Tianju chariot.
Of course, the person in charge of the Shiba family's canon is Beilong's chief brother-in-law Shiba Yanji. After Hisagi Shuahei said hello to him, he went straight to the first team. The news about Aikibei Hayasub is the most important, and Hisagi Shuahei certainly knows the importance. As soon as he entered the first team captain's room, Hisagi Shuahei was stunned, because Beilong was already waiting for Hisagi Shuahei with all his disciples and grandsons. Master, Master, you are all here, Hisagi Shuahei said in surprise. Ha 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 ha, after all, my eldest disciple is back, so of course he has to take care of you. Beilong said with a smile. As his master, Ichimaru Jin also walked up to Hisagi Shuahei, looked at the grown-up child, and said with a smile, Welcome back, Shuhei. You have grown taller. Teacher, the reunion between master and disciple is inevitable, and Yin Zhao also looked at the master and disciple with a smile on his face. Ahem, okay, okay, master and disciple, if you have something to hug, go back and hug me again. Quickly introduce someone to my disciple who he doesn't know. Beilong interrupted quickly. Ichimaru Jin also let go of Hisagi Shuahei and began to introduce Hitsugaya Toshiro and Rukia Kuchiki to him. This is your master's new disciple, your junior uncle Hitsugaya Toshiro. This is your master's new disciple, your junior sister, Rukia Kuchiki. Hello, junior uncle, hello, junior sister. Hisagi Shuahei said very politely. After the introduction of these two people, it was time to go to Hinamori Momo who was carrying him. Ichimaru Jin also introduced with some embarrassment, this is your schoolgirl, Hinamori Momo. Hisagi Shuahei was stunned for a moment, and he keenly sensed that something was wrong, because other junior uncles and senior masters were holding back laughter. Obviously, the identity of this junior schoolgirl is definitely not as simple as the master said. In particular, the way this junior sister looked at him was no different from the way his master looked at him. Hisagi Shuahei had an idea and said, Hello, junior sister. As soon as these words came out, everyone started to cheer, and Beilong and his four wives laughed very happily. Hinamori Momo turned into a red peach, but she held on and said, Shubei, eat more later. Ichimaru Jin glared at Hisagi Shuahei angrily, but did not refute Hisagi Shuahei's words. Now Hisagi Shuahei knew better. Okay, let's eat quickly. The child hasn't eaten Seoul Society food for a long time, Ujua said. Now that Maojihua has spoken, of course no one will have any objections, and everyone is very happy to eat. After drinking and eating, Hisagi Shuahei finally said, Master, Aikibei Hayasub Senpei asked me to tell you something. He said that the power of evil is slowly resurrecting. I hope you will be careful and prepare early. Beilong nodded when he heard what Shubing said, and he realized that the only force that could make even Aikibei Hayasub call him evil is you watch. I understand, I will contact the Hayasub civil guard. Hisagi Shuahei said it, so he didn't say anything else. He was good at cultivating soldiers. He would never ask blind questions about things he shouldn't know. So Ichimaru Jin asked, Master, what is the evil power that Hayasub Senpei talks about? Beilong didn't answer. Yoruichi replied, come to think of it, I really should tell you about this. Hearing what Yoruichi said, all the disciples and disciples pricked up their ears. Yoruichi coughed, opened Shikai and said, the so-called evil power that Aikibei Hayasub said actually refers to the power of the Quincy. But weren't the Quincy wiped out in that battle more than a hundred years ago? Yukuya asked, obviously having read some of his own records. A-V-E-R-T-I-S-E-M-E-N-T. The apprentices all know these things, but for Hisagi Shuahei and Rukia Kuchiki, it is indeed new information. No, in that battle more than a hundred years ago, what was actually destroyed was the Quincy's ability to escape into the real world. In fact, the Quincy had a stronger team, but they were hidden. Yoruichi continued road. After all, her grandfather Shihuan Seni participated in the first battle between Shinigami and the Quincy. So she knew more about this matter. A stronger Quincy. Hitsugaya Toshiro was also very curious. That's right, a stronger Quincy. Fortunately, this matter started a thousand years ago. Yoruichi nodded. Having said this, Ujawa continued, I will tell you the next thing, after all, I am a personal participant. As soon as these words came out, everyone was surprised. Although they all knew that Ujihua lived for a long time, they did not expect that she lived for such a long time. 
The story starts with Yuwaj, the founder of the Quincy. This man was a wizard. After unifying the world, he was not satisfied with the Quincy only having the right to rule the world. Then he led his empire of light to attack soul. Society. Because in a sense, Shinigami and Quincy are absolute mortal enemies. This starts with how Shinigami and the Quincy deal with Hollows. If Shinigami kills Hollows, Hollows' souls will enter the Soul Society. After living in Rukongai for a long enough time, they can be reincarnated. Yes. The Quincy is different. When they kill the Hollows, the Hollows are really dead. Once the Quincy starts to massacre Hollows on a large scale, the number of souls will decrease sharply. In the end, it will even affect the balance of the three realms, because not everyone newborns can produce souls. This is the fundamental conflict between the two parties, so the unsatisfied Yuach led the Empire of Light to attack Soul Society. Balong continued, at that time, Soul Society did not have the current Gotei 13. It was your master and ancestor, Yamamoto Genryusai, who stood up and formed the first generation Gotei 13 of the violent organization. Led the Gotei 13 to defeat the Empire of Light led by Yuach, killed Yuach, and protected Soul Society. Originally, Things should be over here, but you watch as not an ordinary human being, he is the ancestor of the Quincy. So there is a prophecy that the sealed Quincy king will regain his heartbeat after 900 years, his consciousness after another 90 years, his power after another 9 years, and the world in just 9 days. After hearing this prophecy, everyone was silent. That's why Aikibei Hayasub asked Shuhei to give me a message and let me prepare in advance. Because according to the predicted time, Yuwach has already retrieved his heartbeat. Hearing this, everyone felt nothing at all, because they had never seen the power of a Quincy. After all, judging by age, most of these children are around 200 years old and are still in the early childhood stages of life. Seeing that none of the disciples cared much about the Quincy, Balong could only say, don't underestimate the Quincy. Although Yuwach failed last time, he was defeated by your master's residual fire sword. How many of you dare to say that you can resist the old man's residual fire sword? Not to mention that after this resurrection, you watch will be even more powerful. Even I have no confidence in defeating him. As soon as these words came out, everyone became serious, besides, the Quincy also has many outrageous, almost rule-like abilities, and is the biggest enemy of our Gote 13. This is why I work hard to train you. Only the Quincy is our biggest enemy. After everyone heard Balong say this, they understood why Balong was very serious. Master, wouldn't it be enough if we could find Yuwacha's location in advance and kill him in advance? Zaraki Kenpachi said in confusion. In his opinion, since this person is so strong and difficult to deal with, shouldn't he just kill him first? Balong is speechless, Zaraki Kenpachi has brains, but not much. Of course we have thought about this matter, but even if Team Zero and the Science and Technology Development Bureau joined forces, they could not find you watch in the Three Realms. The battle that you know for more than a hundred years is already the greatest result. Everyone had different expressions. Balong knew that his crisis education was successful, so he nodded and said, but don't worry, as long as we are strong enough, we can definitely kill you watch. As soon as these words came out, all the disciples ignited their fighting spirit and expressed that they would become stronger after returning. Balong is also very satisfied with everyone's fighting spirit. After they go back to practice, he still wants to sleep with his Shangshang wives. I don't know if these disciples will act like a loving father and a filial son when they see Balong like this. The next day, Ichimaru Jin also sent Hisagi Shuahei to the 9th Division. It's not that Ichimaru Jin doesn't want his apprentice in his squad. 3.0 It's just that this kid has been determined to follow the will of Muguruma Kensai, the unit of measurement, since he was a child. There's nothing Ichimaru Jin can do. He can't tell him that the current Muguruma Kensai can't beat you at all. So we can only let Hisagi Shuahei go to the 9th Division as the deputy captain, no. Even now, Tusen Konami still looks like a messenger of justice, and Hisagi Shuahei still approves of him. Balong began to practice in full swing, and Aizen, who didn't know these things, started to continue to cause trouble. Aizen is very clear that he can cause trouble, but he can't do it to Balong for the time being. After all, his current Hogyoku is not complete yet, and he does not have the confidence to face Bankai. The Balong, therefore, 
this time his experimental subject is Shiba Kayan, deputy captain of the 13th Division and Jashiro Yukitaki's personal disciple. This time, Aizen developed a hollow that can digest other people's soul-cutting swords and possess Shinigami. In order to test the strength of this experimental product, Aizen specially placed it in the Rukongai area patrolled by the 13th Division. Soon, the 13th Division discovered that Yushu was devouring souls and Shinigami on their own territory. This made Jashiro Yukitaki and Shiba Kayan very angry. Since Beilong became the captain, similar incidents have not happened in Seoul society. Haweko Mundo has been a lot more honest recently, and the news of Rukongai being attacked falsely has not appeared for a long time. Therefore, the board Jashiro Yukitaki personally led a team to investigate this matter and wanted to give his good junior brother a suitable gift. Not only the captain and deputy captain went, but Rukia Kuchiki also went to join in the fun. I guess Aizen himself didn't expect that Jashiro Yukitaki would bring so many people there on a whim. After all, Jashiro Yukitaki has always looked sick. Although he has recovered from his illness over the years, he still pretends to be unwell. Now the 13th Division is completely Shiba Kayan's team. But Jashiro Yukitaki is very happy, so that he can paddle happily. If such an incident hadn't happened suddenly, it is estimated that Jashiro Yukitaki's water skiing trip would have continued. Metastasia is a little panicked now. Although he was created, it does not mean that he has no brain. Aizen's intention was good, he wanted to create a hollow that could limit the soul-cutting sword, but what he didn't expect was that even the hollow created through Hogyoku would only be useful to those below the vice-captain level, oh, this standard is still the vice-captain before Beilong was revised, which is below the fourth level of spiritual power. As long as it reaches the third level of spiritual power, the shoemailing stacha is useless at all. So when he saw Jashiro Yukitaki bringing Shiba Kayan and Rukia Kuchiki to hunt it down, Metastasia was completely stunned. It's fun, I'm a Jillian, why would you send so many perverts to hunt me down? Jashiro Yukitaki is now at a level above the standard first-class spiritual power. He is about to reach the strength of the Zero Division, but he is still a little short of it. He is half a step ahead of the Zero Division. Shiba Kayan will be a proper third-class spiritual power soon. I need a second-class spiritual power, Rukia Kuchiki, a solid third-class spiritual power. Metastasia looked around. Good guys, there is no one I can deal with. And because Jashiro Yukitaki personally brought people here, Shiba didn't even come. Now Metastasi is in trouble, how can he play this? This guy can only hide in the dark and tremble, praying that Jashiro Yukitaki will take people away quickly. Wait, I seem to have sensed the existence of that hollow. But before Metastasia could run away, Jashiro Yukitaki had already discovered his location. Jashiro Yukitaki, who has completely integrated with Mimahaki, has been strengthened to an unprecedented degree. Although it is not as outrageous as the Soul King's heart, it has also gained some special abilities, such as the current perception ability. Come out, Jashiro Yukitaki drew his sword and swung his sword, rushing directly towards Metastasia's hiding place. I've been discovered. Although Metastasia panicked, she had to dodge Jashiro Yukitaki's attack, but this also completely exposed her. This one looks like a Bulbasaur, but instead of a flower, it has something like a bud formed by its tentacles. You must be the one attacking the Shinigami of our division. Jashiro Yukitaki said coldly. Humph, yes, it's me. Metastasia didn't panic at all, and she didn't know what Aizen was thinking about. Metastasia turned out to be a hollow with his own consciousness. Perhaps it is precisely because of this that its ability range is only below the fourth level of spiritual power. Later, Aizen learned this lesson, and the extinguishing prince no longer had the ability to think of his own, and transformed into a pure tool hollow. Jashiro Yukitaki was just about to do it himself, but Shiba Kayan stopped Jashiro Yukitaki and said, Teacher, I just do it. For a guy like this, you don't need to do it yourself. Jashiro Yukitaki has not done it himself for too long, and his hands were itchy just now, but since his apprentice has said so, Jashiro Yukitaki no longer insists. For such a guy, it's better to kill him directly. Shiba Kayan drew out his soul-cutting sword and faced Metastasia confidently. At this time, Metastasia was already sweating profusely, and she didn't know how to face the three unkind people in front of her. Let the water and sky flow backwards, flower. 
The soul zapping sword in Shiba Kayan's hand instantly turned into a huge trident. As a rare spear type soul zapping sword among Shinigami, I have to say that it is still very handsome. The head of the Shiba family all have water based soul zanting swords, and the branch house all has fire based soul zapping swords, so the moment Nejibana appeared, a stream of water directly enveloped Metastasia. Wait a minute, Metastasia was shocked. He could feel that if the one on the opposite side tried to attack, it would be melted instantly. Shiba Kayan looked at Metastasia with a confused look on his face. He had no intention of paying attention to it and was about to tear it into pieces. No, listen to me. Shinigami, don't you think this is too unfair? Metastasia said angrily when she looked at Shiba Kayan, this inexperienced guy. Shiba Kayan was speechless for a while, how could this hollow be so eloquent? It should have been blocked. Still Jashiro Yukitaki was curious about what this guy wanted to say, Kayan, wait a minute and see what it wants to say. Jashiro Yukitaki is actually very curious about Metastasia, because according to reports, when encountering this hollow Shinigami, the soul-cutting sword disappeared. Jashiro Yukitaki also wanted to find out what the origin of this hollow was, but his intuition told him that this hollow was not simple. Shiba Kayan didn't think so much, but now that Jashiro Yukitaki spoke, Shiba Kayan didn't take any forceful action, but restrained Metastasia and said coldly, if you have something to say, say it quickly, if you have something to say, let it go. I have nothing to say, I kill you directly. Don't. What I want to say is, you Shinigami have soul zanting swords, but we have nothing. Do you dare to give up the soul zanting swords and fight with me? Metastasia used the provoking method. But Shiba Kayan had a puzzled expression and had no intention of paying attention to it. Only Jashiro Yukitaki asked, how did you master the ability to eliminate the soul zapping sword? I don't know about this. When I wake up, I will have this ability. But this ability is completely useless for you to get the vice captain level now. Metastasia did not dare to hide anything and said directly. Jashiro Yukitaki was silent for a moment, and sure enough, this hollow did not come from Hueco Mundo at all. It seems that the mastermind behind the last hollow experiment is still in Tohunkai. Jashiro Yukitaki didn't know about Kiraku Shunsui's undercover status. Yamamoto Genryusai just told him not to have any dealings with Kiraku Shunsui in the future. Jashiro Yukitaki has always been an obedient student, so of course he did what Yamamoto Genryusai said. But relying on his own clever mind, Jashiro Yukitaki still felt what was hidden behind it, so this special hollow is very important. But to Jashiro Yukitaki, it doesn't matter whether this shoe is alive or dead. In this way, I propose that I don't use my power and you don't use the soul-cutting sword. Even if I lose to you, I won't have any complaints. Metastasia was still persuading Shiba Kayan. I want to persuade him to give up the soul-cutting sword. From its point of view, Shinigami has no ability to defeat it after losing its soul-cutting sword. Shiba Kayan laughed angrily at these words. Good guy, it's so shameless to persuade people to give up the soul zanbing sword. Rukia Kuchiki said speechlessly, stop talking nonsense. Just wait until you die. But Shiba Kayan is interested. Anyway, Jashiro Yukitaki is here. Even if a person dies, Jashiro Yukitaki now has the ability to revive you. So Shiba Kayan waved the trident in his hand and directly dispersed the water that trapped Metastasia. He snorted coldly and said, I'll give you this chance. After saying, put the main prong in ELE. A cold glint flashed in Metastasia's eyes. Even though it was a third-level spiritually powerful Shiba Kayan, it was not afraid. It naively believed that the soul zanbing sword was everything to Shiba Kayan. Ha ha ha, Shinigami, suffer death. Metastasia pounced directly on Shiba Kayan, as if she wanted to kill him directly. Shiba Kayan was speechless. He thought Metastasia had some clever tricks up his sleeve. Wasn't this just a gift? One bone. Shiba Kayan punched hard and instantly transformed into One Punch Man. With just one blow, he directly penetrated Metastasia's body. Metastasia's body hit the ground like a cannonball, and she said in disbelief, how is that possible? Shiba Kayan moved his arm slightly and sneered, we Shinigami can't be restricted by something as inconvenient as the soul's antodo. Nejibana, you are amazing and noble. If you have the ability, don't use me. Metastasia died unwillingly, and Rukia Kuchiki was also speechless and said, 
Don't this guy know that we are all good at slaying fists and walking ghosts? Shiba Kayan shrugged, pulled out the trident, and returned it to its normal Zanzinto form. Jashiro Yukitaki explored the surroundings and confirmed that no one was watching. A Shunpo came to Metastasia. At this time, Metastasia, who was already dead, was about to disappear. Jashiro Yukitaki saw putting his right hand on Metastasia's body, he whispered, stop. In an instant, Metastasia became a physical entity again, and Jashiro Yukitaki once again took out a capsule-like thing and put Metastasia's body inside. Rukia Kuchiki was dumbfounded by all this. Good guy, is my great uncle so outrageous? Jashiro Yukitaki also simply smiled and said, just a little trick. This capsule is a new product of the Science and Technology Development Bureau. If Rukia likes it, you can ask Captain Nirvana for some. As for the ability to stop just now, it comes from Mimi Haki's ability. Mimi Haki relied on this ability to maintain the physical condition of the previous Jashiro Yukitaki. And this is not all of Mimihaki's abilities. Mimihaki also gave Jashiro Yukitaki the ability to completely penetrate the spiritual power, which is a bit like a holy text in Yuwacha's Guardians but a little more outrageous than that. Looking at the surprised Rukia Kuchiki, Shiba Kayan laughed and said, My master knows a lot of things. You will know later. Okay, I'm going to take this guy's body to the Science and Technology Development Bureau and let Captain Nirvana take a good look. I always feel like there's someone else hiding behind it. Jashiro Yukitaki frowned slightly. However, his younger brother was very confident in handling these matters, so he didn't say much. Of course Kuritsuchi Mayuri was very excited when he saw this special corpse. This was the first time he saw a hollow with special abilities. In fact, there is nothing wrong with the development direction of Aizen. In fact, there is such a thing in soul society that can ignore the soul-cutting sword. That is the special weapon developed by the Kasumotoji family, the Taper Sword. Amagai Susuke even used this sword to seal Yamamoto Genryusai's Ryujin Jaka. Of course, in fact, even if Ryujin Jaka is sealed, Amagai Susuke is no match for Yamamoto Genryusai, but it can also be seen how outrageous a special weapon like the Touch Yao Sword is. Of course, there is no need to worry about the Taper Yao knife now, because the entire Sha Dalu family is now under Beilong's control. Beilong believes that it is more reliable to have this special weapon in his hands. As for Amagai Susuke, he is still serving as the captain of the expedition team in Hueco Mundo at this time. It is estimated that it will take decades to return to Seoul society. After all, it was just a misunderstanding between him and Mr. Sean, and Beilong is still very generous. After all, Amagai Shuzuk can be regarded as a second-class spiritual power. Of course, such a talent should be cherished. Ah, Lord Aizen, Metastasia's actions failed. Defeated, Tusen Konami reported Metastasia's disastrous defeat to Aizen Sosuke. Aizen Sosuke still looked calm and relaxed, and said with a smile, No, no, it's successful. As a tool, it's very successful, isn't it? Tusen Konami nodded slightly and said respectfully, Yes, Master Aizen. Aizen Sosuke smiled and said, Jashiro Yukitaki. I really underestimated you. You are worthy of being as famous as Kiraku Shunsui. And Beilong knew about it, it was already the next day. Although Beilong remembered that Shiba Kayan died, he really didn't know when Shiba Kayan died. Beilong was also surprised after listening to the report of the 13th Division. But Shiba Kayan is still alive, so there is no problem. Jashiro Yukitaki has done enough to train his successor. However, Beilong also became vigilant because it was obvious that Aizen was going to start causing trouble again. Since this time it's Shiba Kayan, the goal for the next time is already clear. It's time for Shiba to leave Seoul society. However, Beilong didn't mean to stop it. Instead, he was very happy, because even he wanted the son of destiny, Kurosaki Ichigo, to be born. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.